John? No. Um, Jacob? Nope. I don't know. Jacob Jacob Irish. <laughs> nope. That's so, uh, upon returning to Linar Mall, uh, Crisaro, the uh, sort of right hand man of uh, Countess Sansuri, him and some of the, uh, the Jakas, uh, the Aarakocra, who all look very similar, uh, led you into this waiting room. Uh, it became very clear that you were locked in here with your possessions. Uh, told to use this giant sized barrel in the back for a, a washroom or to relieve yourselves if need be. Uh, and a decent amount of time has passed and no one's really come to talk to you or let you know what's going on. Um, and some of you, after a lot of poking and prying around uh, about, I don't know what we said it was, about 50, 80 feet up? 40 feet? I think it was about 40 feet. Yeah, 40. I think it was about 40 feet. Uh, about 40 feet up, with the use of Sand's broom, uh, you found an old, seldom used trap door. And the two dwarves on Broomback went up through that trap door, right about where the green square is, and happened upon a sleeping ogre in a giant sized bed. Sand quickly used her magics to charm and beguile him into sleeping I batted my eyelashes and yeah you, you just had him go back to sleep right yeah, yeah. so he's still here just <laughs> hopefully he wake up <laughs> he's just kind of like rolling over fitfully in his sleep uh, so the two of you are up here right now I think we all find up the rope yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. Up. all of you are up here right now yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we are Woo! teamwork Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a great feeling about this. This is going to go awesome. My whole life is bad now. Huh! Except that time when I robbed the casino. That was, good, that was a good time. Yeah, that was a good feeling? Yeah. <laughs> and then Titus burned his great look on yeah. your face. Like, I don't know about this. Well, here you all are. All right. Now that you're all here, you hear and see this sort of fitful ogre kind of snoring. rolling around. Head towards the wall, though, snoring. Just is there nobody else oh, sleeping in any of the other beds? I uh, know <laughs> they're unmade. You like you know, like they didn't even fucking make the bed when they got it's up. Uh, Wives would be terribly upset yeah. if they had any. Um, <laughs> and it's just the the one ogre sleeping here. No, I have ogre wives. No. <laughs> Not that you know of. I guess you'd have to converse with the It's a great reality TV show. Let's wake Ogre up wise. Ogre wise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who made the bed today. Harold's been acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we have a really large trench coat? Maybe we can just go with an ogre. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, do you? Like Muppet that. Man. Yeah, does this guy have anything in his closet? Oh, well, let's not raid the poor guy. Well, I'm sure he doesn't own anything. He's an indentured servant. Um, uh, so, <laughs> right now there's obviously the trap door that, is it closed or open? Uh, I believe we closed close it. it. I yeah. guess we'll okay. close it. You'll have to specify going forward on any door yeah, activity. We're gonna be so specific. Uh, it's closed. <laughs> Stealthily, we closed it. Great. Indeed. So, you have just the three large beds crammed into this very plainly furnished room. Other things you've seen here and we take were a rope back. much more extravagant. Oh, yeah. um, the and there are two doors, one much smaller just behind you and a larger uh, door uh, to the north. Smaller, but still giant size. Okay. We left yeah. a bucket of feces in I the room below. I check the closet to see if there's a big trench coat. <laughs> I guess the smaller one is the closet, potentially. There, Potentially. The, the keyholes would be like what? Do you want me to just Ten not feet up in the air? Don't know. Uh, let me let me <laughs> let's let's get let's refresh Buddy, ourselves, my you, myself buddy. included, <laughs> on <laughs> some of the standard features of the scale of this place. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ceilings and floors. Yes. Ceilings throughout are about forty feet high. Ooh, that's, very high. that's so high ceiling. Um, Vaulted. The oh. all of the walls you saw down below on what you think is the first level, uh, are made of tightly fitted stone. Um, up here you can't tell that it's painted. Um, looks like it could be painted wood. Um, the cloud itself, the cloud stuff upon which this castle rests, is this opaque, buoyant, and semi-solid, frozen cold slushy surface. 
Um, you've seen examples that appear as if the stuff has been sculpted to form around the castle, and in the distance, near um, the this sort of double small tower, you saw like a spiral staircase made out of the snow stuff. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you've seen it before as well. Along like the the crenellated sort of walls, there are uh, at least flying in very visible um, ballista along the battlements. Mm. Uh, large wooden ballista. Ballista. Yep. All of the doors, including the ones to the north, about twenty-seven feet tall. Uh, generally, so far, everything you've seen is just made of very thick. Uh, wood, as far as the doors go, with polished bronze fittings. The door handles are about 12 feet above the ground. Ooh, the floor. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> obviously, reaching for the handle for all of you probably you quite a bit difficult. Um, without without, without some sort there, of creativity though. involved. No um, problem. I walk up the door. Are like overs only like nine feet? Mm-hmm. Boom. Overs are like nine feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grab onto the handle. That's true. You can't oh, is that what you're doing right now? No, I will. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just get through this boring list of general features real quick. And then, yeah, so that uh, I, yes. Someone will help you're me. Painting a the picture. Way. Illumination. All indoor areas appear to be brightly lit, as you can see here. Um, there's a lot of sunlight that comes through the windows uh, in areas that you might have been before, where there are right. windows. Um, and the the lights themselves, these globes, uh, appear to be magically lit. There's no actual flame from what you've been able to tell. Oh, Some sort of magical light. Uh, and then obviously all the furnishings and objects here are made for giants. But an overseer. Cloud giants. From giant Ikea. That's correct. Um, so everything's giant sized. Um, Staircases, as I mentioned before, each step is about four feet tall and four feet deep. Um, you would basically have to treat that kind of stuff as difficult terrain to travel across it. Oh boy. Um, and along with the battlements, there are some spots where there were large telescopes bolted to them as well along the wall. That's about it as far as just the the broad strokes. Okay. <laughs> So they just basically be like here. Who's the tallest? How tall is Artie? Uh, good question. Five foot something, which is. Are you that small? Mm-hmm. Oh. Tallest probably Titus. He's probably. Yeah. I'm 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 it's like average and but very stout. Well, yeah, right. Anybody want? Speaking of stout, they want to. Be <laughs> 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 this espresso stout hey. before I crush it. I want to try some. I'll take yeah. a little sippy sip. Sip. Wash it with Metallica. It's not bad. Sip sippy. It's just average. Yeah. Sure. Uh, beer in my mouth. Is that, is that it good? Is. Mm-hmm. Too deep? Good. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. Like it. it's, it's pretty good. What, which company is this? There, there's another uh, coffee beer in no, it. No, that's the Italian. <laughs> what was this one? This is. Oh, that's the Steamworks. The Salsa yes, Caramel Corks. Order. Oh, no. I don't, I don't see. Uh-huh. Steamworks. Yes. It is Steamworks. Ah. Yeah. Espresso yeah. Stout. Hey. Oh, very local. I've yeah. tried it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like think most coffee-based beers. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. Thank you, sir. At least at our liquor yeah, store, there's a bunch of them. Oh. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Hey. Oh, look at this. Go far away. Oh, Clink. Give me lots of. Oh well, I didn't want to take any of that one because I, f- I felt like there wasn't really enough to <laughs> spread uh, around. You like, get an inspiration. Is there uh how much of a gap is there between the floor and the door? Oh, that's like a good the question, ground. actually. Just yeah, you'd, think, so you'd think there'd be like a gap. Uh, how much? It's probably about a foot. Oh. You said the doors are. Tall. Oh, that's lots. Oh my gosh. Can I peek oh. under this little door in front of us to see if my human eyes see anything? His head just goes. I mean, if it's like a foot, I can fit under the door. You, uh... Well, let's walk under it. Yeah. What? Uh, well, I, I, I could limbo. I'm just trying to think, I mean, if it's to scale, like... I'll be able to slide. Close that door real quick. Let's yes, see. Yes, sir. With all the turtle can't get I mean, have you ever seen those, those videos of the kittens oh. climbing under the doors? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah. you can scale that up to That's 27 feet. That's I pretty like fitted. Like yeah. A little medieval one door would probably have a little more gap to it. Maybe, like, 
Yeah, I think maybe 8 to 12 inches is fair for a door that's 27 feet tall. And I could see plenty do that. 12 inches? Is it 12? I mean, like, so if the Sam's that big. It's probably so not perfect. So let's just say six to twelve. You right? could, you could definitely it. see. I could probably climb. I don't under. know about get under. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, with six or twelve inches, I could definitely peek. Okay. You peek under. Yeah. What do you see? Uh, it's dark. It's, it's dark, inches, it's dark in here, but enough oh. of the light seems to spill through. Um, it definitely gives you the vibe of some closet. Like other rooms you've oh. been in, all have like these light globes. There's no light in here. From what you can tell, the wall curves around to the right a little bit. Okay. As you go through here. Um, and it's, it smells a little dusty. All right. I'm assuming this is the closet, guys. So the way out would be the door to the north. Uh, the closet. Should we poop in here? I don't think there's no point. Oh. We're gonna find it. I don't know. Magically. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let me lock these fucking tokens. Got a rogue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. There you go, look underneath. <laughs> to go oh god, no, don't do it. No, <laughs> no. Alright. So I guess we're going up here? I yeah. guess. Let's look through this door. Yeah. Who wants to peek? Looks like sand does. Is there a sand already there? What? Is there a keyhole? Like yeah. more level? Yeah. Right. Oh, there's a keyhole. Oh, well, it's 12 feet up. The keyhole. I'm on a broom. Oh. On a broom. <laughs> can I just walk up to it? Yeah, you guys can both look through. Is that like an always on thing for you? Um, um yeah. room or my new God, ability, uh, my new proof. At ninth level, you gain the ability to move along vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling during the move. Wow. wow. During the move. So you can go, so I can go 55 feet. But can you stop? Well, I mean, I can get up to the keyhole and. Oh, like, hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just trying to imagine it's not like you can just stand. No, it's there like it's like suspend. a scampering, oh, basically. Yeah. Like, it's like you can run across water. Like parkour. Yeah. You're He's crouching nice. tiger. Yeah. He's moonwalking. It's exactly. like a, you know, American Ninja Warrior going up the wall. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah, like that. Exactly. Slow That's an important detail, there. though, because you yeah. do have to kind of scamper up and then hang. I can only get 55 feet, and if I don't make it that far, I'm just going to be like. Uh, I'll take uh, yeah, yeah, you could dash and go I could dash and go 40 feet up to the roof. Okay. You don't even need that. So Sans hovering in front of it, and then already you come running up the door <laughs> next to her and like, what hang on. Looking, what do you see? What are you looking at? <laughs> let's, let's be stealthy. <laughs> yes. Shh. Being sneaky is fine. Uh, so <laughs> you, you're, you're both kind of like I'm looking, fighting to look through the keyhole a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, you look ahead to a well lit room. Um, it's a very n well narrow, relatively speaking, as all things will be henceforth. Um, yes. And you see a, uh, a light right in front of you. It's a little bit blinding as you peek through. Uh, and a spiral staircase. Um, you get the sense that there's a door to the north as well, but it's hard, it's hard to make out. What do you guys see? Tell us. Door and stairs. We don't see any people. I can just open up the door. you hear anything? Well, do you yeah, either go through the door or back through the trap door. So I, I, I push myself off the keyhole and I grab the, uh, the <laughs> door handle and I just hang on to it. Whoa. The brass handle uh, starts to bend under your weight. <laughs> Sand pulling down. He weighs, he weighs 400 pounds. <laughs> Okay, put my feet up on the door and I started pushing off. <laughs> uh, the door, annoyingly, I'm push. sure to anyone who's forced to reside in here, opens outward, screen left, uh, oh, until uh, until like in San, you're you're gonna be pushed out of the way slightly. Sure. Um, it kind of opens and then it bumps against the edge of the bed <laughs> oh. and stops. Artie is back here. Hey, you can just jump off onto the bed. San, I guess you got pushed back o yeah, over the bed. That could probably help a little bit. That's a terrible design. <laughs> Not very yeah. functional. How do they yeah. get out? I expect more. They probably walk. Oh, they have to go giants. over. Oh, I see. Oh. All right. Um. Well, I'll come up and tell them. Does anyone remember where this up on the bed <laughs> room is supposed to be? Upstairs, downstairs. Where do we need to be? Where do we need to go? Into the hallway. Do you remember where the throne room is? We don't I don't know what we're room. doing. Neither do I. Um, oh, we're kind of the dumb ones. <laughs> so that's okay. 
You guys coming exploring. along? Yes, we are joining. Everyone's coming up. I mean, we realized we made a terrible mistake, right? <laughs> I, I realized I made a terrible mistake as soon as I climbed the rope. I realized here. a long time ago I should have <laughs> run away. When I, when I met all of you. was <laughs> waiting from the airship with Fabric and the other that, cultists. That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> Has anybody seen Seathla? She's just gone. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. She left. Alrighty. I guess right, outside but, we go. Uh, I'm doing this instead. Look at the next keyhole. Okay. Any vibes? Get any vibes? Uh, you just get kind of slightly eerie vibes. I mean, it's fairly quiet. You haven't really yeah, heard feel, anything. I'm a little creeped out already. I, I mean, you still hear like the. <laughs> 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 the music they're playing in this castle. <laughs> 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 Should we try right, to close right, this door? Right, yes. That's not too obvious. Yes. Yeah. Once everyone's should, out, should, yeah, we should quietly close the door. Out the door and then close the door behind us. Well, I close, I close the door, I put you close. We've all gone on the other side of the door. And then I realize that I closed myself in the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, dude. So I run back up. <laughs> I do it all over again. All right. A lot of noise. As the second time you pull down on the latch, you hear like, rrr, 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 rrr. Okay. and you see him like kind of pawing the blanket off until half of it's just like draped over the bed and he's uncovered. Oh boy, my head goes inside my shell. Go to sleep. Oh my god, get out the door there. opens it again. Get out of there. And then <laughs> this, time, yeah. this time I do it yeah. right. Perfect. Okay. okay. Uh, you all pile into the next room. Um, the staircase here. Uh, let me just double check. Staircase only goes up from here to uh, some higher level. All right. Um, looking out the door, San, you see uh, a hallway that runs parallel to this thin room, I guess you could say. Um, and it's decently well lit. You see another door directly across from you as well, though. Upstairs or through the door? Uh, can I, like, go up the stairs most of the way and kind of, like, Kind of peak like this. Yeah. Why well, choose one when you can sort of choose both? Yeah. yeah these, these stairs are really going to work my blood. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. We're going to oh, get ripped. How are you even going to do that? No, we're going to have to carry you, you to guys. Him up. Or push you up the steps. One moment, please. Or at least the sand can fly, but you will be well, actually, I can ride the room with sand. Yeah. You can just fly down a little bit and you can just grab it like that. And I'll just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't sit on it? It's kind of awkward now because I put a seat on it. So it's kind of got, got a seat and handlebars. Huh. So you can do pull ups. Yeah. But I, I probably put like a hook on it so we could like hook and then just like. Or we hook in. you by the collar and yeah. just hang you from the hook. Like, just like dangle kind of like uh, Tom Cruise and in every movie. Yeah, every movie he's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, so are you, are you floating up? Yeah. And peeking? Okay. Okay. Hold, please. Oh. Yeah. Not gonna fall for it this time. Oh. <laughs> Sneak. Sneak. So you begin to float up, and it's kind of, you're, you're floating up along the spirals of these very large steps. It's a, it's a very decorative wrought iron staircase. Well, I, just, I suppose right about the time I get around a few a few stairs below I'd be able to at least see upward in the yeah room, right all right and here if I hear any chattering or let's try this get a get a level three before I turn the wrong way <laughs> Why am I the scout? This is not horrible. I mean, you, <laughs> this is all you. I'm uh, too curious. You are taking point. You keep volunteering. I know. I will run up the stairs to join you. All right, so you're floating <laughs> on that sort of lower edge, oh, okay. peeking past the wrought iron staircase. Um, <laughs> So 
Mm -hmm. I'm fairly strong. Some of the first few things you notice are um, very colorful, thick, lush rugs. Like, have you ever stepped on as a normal sized human, like a really thick, awesome, mm -hmm. like throw rug? Shag These carpet. things are like just giant shag, <laughs> colorful carpets. Oh boy. Um, there's a couple of them spread throughout um, as you look diagonal <laughs> through the room. Grassland of shag carpet. A giant size um, shag carpet. <laughs> we could hide in the carpet. <laughs> That's true, we could. <laughs> the walls themselves appear to be just filled with numerous partitions and niches that have a number of strange objects and it's starting to feel to you kind of like a gallery or a museum of some sort in here. I don't know where we are. Out of character I think this is the place to go. Yeah, what's... As you sort of scan and look, you immediately start to look up and just hear this like very subtle creaking um, almost like something suspended from chains. There's like a clinking, swaying sound. And you look up and see the cast shadow of a dragon. And you're looking at like this beautifully pristine, clearly once living, stuffed young silver dragon suspended from chains above the beams in the ceiling. Silvers are the, those are the good Silvers ones. are good guys, right? Yeah. yeah. They painted fellows. Uh, Fellows. You could take in a lot more, but there's a lot going on. The dragon's sort of like the last thing you see is the initial surveillance passes. Sam, what are you doing? Should we follow? Uh, it looks like there's lots of fancy stuff. I don't know if this would be where you'd keep her con. Well, up, up, upstairs we go. Yeah. Look for the conk. Hop on Artie's back. Let him run. Right, I'm gonna pick up. Cautiously. Uh, yes, he up and quietly, quietly more as we yeah, can. Still up the stairs. I'm gonna, pick, I'm gonna pick Flint up in my arms and uh, run up the stairs off the quietly off the side. Okay, yeah, don't be clomping around. Well, not like clunky rub, but you know, like scatter, yeah. like parkour up things. Oh, yeah. Just how I do it. Okay. Uh, you yell parkour quietly. Parkour, 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 parkour. <laughs> if need be, I'll be constantly in contact with more than just. With who? Spamming guidance. <laughs> with who? More than more My god. Oh. Maker of the dwarves. Not just your god. Everyone's good. Oh, hot hog. The god of all dwarves. Gossip. Just the good ones. Gossip. What was that? Oh my god. Alright. Um, so. <laughs> do that for now. The room continues on, but until you it's tell me exactly where you are. It was described to me. Hey look, there's our airship. Well, you can see our airship? For well, scale? It's, I, got, I, got, I got all the maps out. Oh. I missed that airship. <laughs> <laughs> we still have it? It's only been hours. <laughs> yeah, I missed it. <laughs> So, I mean, in the attic or whatever it is. Do the stairs stop here or do they keep going up? Yeah, the stairs stop here and then terminate at this level. Okay. Into this gallery. Do we do we see anything that looks like you're going? Anything moving or living? Or? Uh, I mean, there is just so much crap in here. There's just a bunch of crap? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you see everything I described to Sam? Yeah, I know. Uh, if you, you are, all, uh, are you all stepping forward off the stairs into yeah, the room? Yeah, I'm going in there. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Sure. And you're obviously yeah. pulling back if we see Cautiously. Yes. Very alert. Okay. Um, it seems quiet. Do the usual. You guys search low. I'll search high. None of you hear or spot anything upon first glance. I would like to cast a second glance. Okay. <laughs> Let us <laughs> continue yeah. forward. Um, walk towards some stuff. Yeah. I mean, I mean, generally, what I'll do in the background, which I've already done, is roll passive perception checks for you guys. Ah, if if you want to be like way more active than that, then you'll have to specify. Oh, no. Within reason, you're right? Yeah, it gets stupid yeah. when 20 people all make perception checks yeah. in one room. I'm gonna walk up to some stuff. Okay. Whatever I yeah. kind of see first, kind of check it out, see if I get any conk vibes. Okay. Being cautious and alert and looking I wanna around. do the same, but see if I get any valuable vibes. I have my vibes. trident in huh. hand, just in case. You have drawn your weapon. I got it up close to me, you never know. Every night. Black razor. Oh, are those windows? They are. Oh. Uh, there's some very clear greenery, large hedges um, visible through 
very large to you windows to the south. Um, you, again, like just see numerous, numerous objects of various sizes, some human sized. It's just a collection. It's not disorganized. It's just a lot. Um, is there a little chessboard out the window? There is. Got me. Uh, I know where we are. Yeah, roughly. Roughly. So we know how to get back to the airship. Oh. Are they like solid glass windows or are they just open windows? Uh, or openable. Let me, let me double check. I know I got it in my notes here somewhere. How long is your room? 50 feet. Yeah. 50. I think all of us probably have. They're, they're double, like they're giant sized windows, but they're two rectangular shapes that are like latched in the middle. Okay. Um, instead of, uh, it's, it's similar trimmings as, no. you know, some of the other things. It's got like very ornate brass and thick glass uh, paneling between it. Alrighty. So yeah, we have a emergency escape route at least. Yeah. Pop out these windows, that'll put us yeah. here. Uh, tie a bunch of ropes together. I apologize, there is, now that you've stepped into the room a little bit more, there is a door to the southwest. Oh. Door. Door. Alrighty. Shall we proceed further in? Quiet. Yes. Do we want to search any more thoroughly in this place? Yeah, we'll yeah. There's a lot of interesting looking things. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, check yeah. out whatever pile is first, I guess. I guess uh, I'll, I'll check out like the high areas, see if there's any up. Top where the other ones can't right. reach. I got the I'm gonna, as you all look in various Whoa. directions, different little shelves, little nooks and crannies, you see everything from paintings, statues, obviously ceremonial weapons, costumes, human sized sarcophagi, oh. vases, vases, <laughs> other pottery uh, that appears to be um, quite old, from you know, made by giants, likely. Um, you see well-preserved scrolls uh, of various sorts. Um, a lot of them <laughs> well are rolled up um, with, like, you know, on top of like wood rollers. Um, As in, like, magical. Uh, like you, you can't tell from here. I, mean, if you, I imagine you go check them out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you look through one scroll and then another, uh, you see that these are non-magical scrolls. A lot of them have various imperial decrees and divine edicts written in the Dwarvish script of oh. Dethic. Ooh, sorry, read it. Why does she have Dwarvish scrolls? That's an excellent question. Are they giant size? Uh, no. Tiny? I'm putting them in the bag of holy. Oh, okay. This giant is not... How many scrolls is that? Uh, all told, let's see. Uh, there's two of them. Okay. Right. Two dwarvish scrolls. I don't know what they are, but they're important to dwarves. I don't want this giant having. Let's check it out. Is it dwarfish or dwarvish? Dwarvish. Dwarf scrolls. Dwarf. 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 One moment, just seeing what else is in here. Ooh, rolling for loot. <laughs> we find a vorpal sword. A what now? <laughs> it's like one of the legendary. <laughs> what? Just hanging around the attic? I don't know. This is a giant like a antiques road show for. You have to roll and then you can decapitate someone. Oh, that's right. Yeah, if you crit, do you uh, sever a limb or something? Oh my God. Is ever is anyone not looking around? No, I've already. Are you looking around? I'm just looking out the window. <laughs> I think we're all looking as we make okay. our way towards the door. There's four stuffed turtles right. in the corner. Out there. Oh, that's horrible. You uh, let's see. Of teenage and age. Flint, you come across and lay your attention on a. Uh, a bottle stopped with a, a cork embossed with gold leaf set with amethyst gems. Whoa. Great. It's very beautiful. Oh, Ooh. look great in my new it's Very my beautiful. Whatever I'm getting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sithla, you stop upon a, a carved harp of exotic wood with ivory inlaid in zircone gems. Expensive. Is that the fancy harp the fellas let you go find? You say it's a harp? A harp, yeah. Oh. That's oh, humanoid size. 
Smaller. Do it outside. Medium, medium. Um, Titus, you stomp upon a silver-plated steel longsword with jet set into the hilt. It's beautiful, but obviously ceremonial or decorative. Still looks quite valuable. This is a fancy sword. Uh, San, you look at the scrolls, but while you're looking at them, you also notice a ceremonial electrum dagger with a black pearl set in the pommel. Ooh. Electrum. That's like... So it's just... Works as a regular dagger, though. Uh, no, it's decorative. Awesome. Uh, you could. I mean, stat-wise, yeah, it'd probably be. Because I already have a regular dagger, I might as well have a fancy dagger. Yeah. <laughs> you can hang it on the wall. Or uh, no, I'll probably piece. sell it and buy something useful. For now, I don't know if you guys are taking these things, yeah. but in, in the order of not spending hours going through a museum, uh, I've just basically called out like one thing that you maybe yep, set your sure. eyes on. But if you're if you're taking it, you'd have to tell me that. Feel like. Oh, yeah. For the amount of times you're going to use a dagger. Probably how big, how big is this bottle, though? The bottle? Yeah. Uh, it's probably about this size. Okay, D does the liquid look like uh, magic -y or There's no liquid inside it. There's no liquid no. inside yeah. it. It is stoppered. It's the stopper and the in the glass itself that seem quite fancy. Well, how about this? Is anyone not stealing their shit? <laughs> I'm not I mean, stealing. is it hard to carry the harp? Uh, it's one of those harp hand harps? It's one, of, it's one of those hand harps that's probably about like the side, maybe slightly wider than someone's torso mm -hmm. in your group. Um, it would probably uh, probably fit in the bag. Probably fit yeah. in the bag. I'm gonna okay. fill this bottle with fine dwarven Spiley spirits. <laughs> when are you gonna take it? Fine dwarven spirits. Are you? Yeah. How are you taking it? Are you being like secretive oh, about it? Well, not not, not not within like my group. Okay, like, okay. Not hiding it from them. But like I'm gonna like carefully. We're all just no. poking around. Look at the shit we're stealing. <laughs> well, I think I've seen uh, enough Indiana Jones movies to know like you know. You don't just grab it. Amethyst. Well, we yeah, I can. So what I'll do is, um, I'll check before it, it, I can do one of two things. I can yeah, drag it directly into each of your fantasy ground inventories, what? or I can put it in the party inventory. Yeah, we'll put it in the bag holding. All right. All right. I'll just put it in the party inventory for now. So we took the scrolls, we took the harp, and you guys. Are you? What did you see again? What was uh, it called? Dagger with amethyst. Or beautiful something? nature. Yeah. This or, guy. I don't know if there's anything going this on guy? outside. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. Ooh. You found a poster of your master. Oh, there's a poster of my master in here. That's cool. Yeah. Can you hang that like a life, life size he's one. Very, he's very popular. With a motivational thing, like hanging there. <laughs> he's hanging off of a limb. Yeah. Because I need something to decorate with. Mm -hmm. That airship's looking quite benign. No, I mean, when we get our. What are we getting? Apartments or something? What? Are we getting a we're getting tower? Wrong game. Oh, a tower. That's that's right. We're getting a tower. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. So that's right. Yeah. Should we, we steal some it. tapestries? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we really want these places to look good. This is a castle. Is it? Pretty, these are probably giant. I'm giant here to see yeah, the tapestries. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna find you can just cut it a little soon, bit out. Right? <laughs> you can uh, sew it later. Here's the first one. They don't know where we are. Fuck no, he's too sure. They'll be on the way. Yeah. Alright. Right. Tiptoeing along. Yeah. Do I see anything else that's easily accessible? Carry anything that might be helpful? Any uh, Anything look conky? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really notice anything too conky. Hmm. Hmm. Is this all like piled around or is this nicely? No, 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 like, yeah, imagine these are huge giant sized walls. Like those little black juttings are various shelves and pockets where things taking are. taking care of this? Yeah. Yeah, things are clearly on. It's curated for sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Can we um, peek under this door? Right, so already, you've been you've been staring out uh, into the high garden, uh, fascinated by the numerous uh, armored, human-sized chess pieces sitting cool. stationary. Some on the board, some scattered around the chessboard, um, and you just kind of been daydreaming and you hear everyone sort of shuffling around behind you for a little bit and eventually you all come to a stop. You do notice um, as you turn back to them like something out of your peripheral uh, and it's someone just kind of like walking through the garden. Do I know, do I recognize them? Uh, you're taking a closer look. So you kind of imagine you're turning away from the window and you sure. just felt something moving. Ah, well. It, is it dark out? No, it's probably about midday. Yeah, so we got there in the morning. Yeah, yeah okay. I wasn't sure what time I'd gone by. Kind of drop down a little bit and watch. 
see what I see. Oh yeah, is it a pookie? <laughs> no, 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 it isn't. <laughs> uh, are you... Are you are. Sneakily. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, roll stealth. Stealth chill. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> That's a one. Oh, Natural one? God. <laughs> right off the bat. Pull out the window. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. Are you going to break your shell? What is uh, Artie, Artie goes to <laughs> quietly lean against the lowest yes. square pane of glass. And you you all hear like a squeaking. <laughs> and like a, a light tap to finish off the period at the end of the sentence. As Artie presses and leans against an unhitched, slightly ajar window. Whoa. Oh my God. I see this happening in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, roll a dexterity I'm check. Full of regret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I rolled a six. You rolled a six. Yeah, but I add, I add a lot. I'm you do add a lot. Uh, you add a five. I'm uh, more than thirty feet away, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, probably. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yes. Love it. It's getting closer. No. I can see them more. I can see them more. Um, you go. Uh, what, what do you want to do? Basically, like you're, everything's in slow motion right now. You see Artie kind of like slipping towards the window oh. in a, despite his awesomeness at times, still boyish clumsy. Um, it's sort of... So, if, if I ran up to him and dra- grabbed some of his cloth or something, something that is on him, and what's he try. wearing? I don't know what he's wearing. Don't you remember? This guy's got a shell. I'm wearing a shell. Can I, can I try a thing? And a crown. You can try to grab my crown. It's just a shell. Uh, is yeah. Clothes? Roll, roll a dexterity check. All right. The two of you would be the only two close enough to even have a chance. Uh, that is ooh, 15 plus, what's my dex? Uh, you are plus two. Okay. 17. And I'm not proficient in anything, so yeah, 17. Okay. Do you have something that is short-ish that you would be doing? Yeah. All right. Uh, camper. Okay. So yeah, I'd want to dart up. Just enough where I get in range, cast a minor illusion of a bird that looks somewhat like Artie, like maybe just the color <laughs> okay. that, has, that just as she pulls him away, the bird flies away. Okay. All right, um, Seethel, you're trying to run up and grab onto something as you react to this. Yeah. Um, can I can I grab onto him some way and like use my legs to hold on to it's something like a belt else? Or something, don't you? Is there? I don't know. Good. What are those little things that Good. stick out? Those black. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, they're pieces of like wall, basically. <laughs> like a rope. Like, you have nothing. I mean, you don't have to get into the mechanic. Just yeah, in terms of like the yeah. idea. I mean, I could try to grab onto like... and dig my heels in. But okay. Yeah, that's all you need. I don't know. All right. He's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can try. All right. Well, you definitely get there in time to grab him, and just as you sort of pull back, like Artie, you're like caught in this slow mo moment uh. of like, oh, whoops. Do I see? Do I see the person better though? Yes, so yes. <laughs> you do look out and you see uh, you see like a kind of hunched, almost shorter seeming um, giant. Oh. And it's kind of just like... <laughs> and he's picking up some of the chest pieces that have been like turned over on the ground. Oh. And he's like driving... <laughs> and like you just see him... <laughs> like look up oh, no. in this moment. And just as you do that, you feel like this force on your shell kind of pulling you back. Oh. And there's this... <laughs> bird that like flies up it catches your attention oh. um both of you you realize that someone's grabbed you and you're kind of like free falling back down off the windowsill oh now well that's the first thing that goes through your mind i'm going to get out of the way well yeah i don't want him to fall on me Holy so shit. uh make it dexterity safe 400 pounds of dortle <laughs> uh, roll the four so four uh, okay Nine. Uh, I need you. So basically, you're free falling yeah. right now. What's the first thing that comes to mind that Artie would do here? Oh, this won't hurt. <laughs> oh, so you just kind of fall. Yeah. You just uh, fall on your head out the window. Cithla, um, I'm falling backwards, though. I'm not falling out the window, right? Cithla, it's only backwards. for your inability to move out of the way in time that your good deed ends with a 400-pound turtle <laughs> landing on top of you. But... I mean, I do have slow oh, fall. Oh, you do have slow fall. <laughs> so it's not like I'm falling hard. So you'll, you'll land softly so like, on Cifla. You, you land back on the ground, and you just see this slow falling <laughs> portal, but it still presses uh, into you like Arya, and doesn't really do any damage, but uh, doesn't feel yeah, great. Doesn't feel I great. I can, I can reduce up to 40 damage. The window is still down. open. Let's, let's move, let's move. Okay. Let's get out of here. Do, I, do I know Cifla's under me? I'm on a shell. Uh, Calmly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, 
What the hell? I don't know why, but your token is like linked to Seathless somehow. It was very strange. Oh. Anyway. Oh my god. You go flying out the window on your broom. <laughs> so Damn Scott, turtle. I saw a giant. I'm retiring after this. He seems like he's very into chess. Thank you. Great. Was that worth Thank it? Thank you for your Was that worth all of it? This seems fun. Just, what, what's just wrong? my own consideration is the window. You just uh, landed on me. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I, like, from this angle, can I, like, look at the reflection in the window and see if I can shoot that guy and see if he's still looking? While you're doing that, Titus and Flint, you guys are, you're still admiring the sword. You turn back and look like Flint, and you're kind of, like, pocketing the bottle, and you look around. You see all this happening. Uh, and you see them all talking commotion, blah, blah, blah. Both of you notice that the window is wide open. Shh. Use up. Yes. How high up How is we? The window is high up, though, correct? Yeah. Or is it's it, a, like, floor to ceiling? It's about 14 right feet up, probably. These guys are, like, yelling at each other. Get off, Peter. I think this is about where all this is happening. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so these are the windows, this is the chest. I make my way to the door, and I'm like... <laughs> all right, I'm going towards the door. Can I walk? <laughs> <laughs> someone close the window. I will pick her up. I don't need to be I start walking towards the door. No yeah, I, I wanted to kind of look in the ref see if I can see the guy in the reflection of the window and see if he's focusing on the Stop window, it. if, it, if he's concerned that it's open, or if he was successfully in his car. Uh, so as you, as you kind of peer out, you see him. He's got like at like a 45 degree angle, just one of the big chest pieces like dragged around like in a headlap almost, and he's looking up in the same sort of trajectory that the bird flew off to. Okay. Oh, okay. We're running. Oh, We're running to the door. We are meeting. Yeah, just goes back to vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh. <laughs> sort of dragging the chess pieces around, tidying up the place, taking his time about it, or her, it's hard to tell. That was smooth, guys. No. No. Are you still on your back? Anything about like, smooth. If no, you I think that's not. smooth, you can't be in charge of anything. <laughs> I was. What did I do? <laughs> Rushed me. You almost. Thanks for grabbing me, though. Uh, that could have been bad. How high up does it look like we are? We're all talking quietly. Uh, 14 feet up is the window. Well, the window is about. I mean, when you looked edge. out the window, we're like three stories. Oh, I don't know how high up were we. Uh, I mean, if you, want you can't really tell. I'm gonna scream. Oh, when I was looking out the window, I couldn't tell. Yeah. Uh, These are our windows. Okay, no, just, I mean, like you see that you're in a courtyard, but like many of the levels out here, like you often just see like the walls or the crenellation, and then sky and cloud stuff. Right, right, behind right. It. Forgot, we have to go up. So I can't tell how far down it was to the garden, I mean. Oh, the garden, I mean, yeah. the garden's on the same level as you. But oh, okay. But there, it's like, you know, it's like a wall oh, 40 feet or something. Oh, I see, okay. Well, we want to go up anyway, because the ship's on this roof. So. Maybe we should just go up the window and run up the wall. There's a dude out there. Well, you can run up the wall. I can. Jeremy. Why am I, where am I going to up the but wall? But we really like, need uh, that conch, though, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. that's why we're doing this. Can we, can I peek through that door? <laughs> Under. I guess we gotta get the cone. Over to the west? Yes. Please. I mean, I could have the getaway the ship ready to That's go. That's what I like to see. Titus doing door stuff. <laughs> classic. Play <laughs> the glasses. I'm drawn to the door. Go to the door. I see what you're doing. I'm enjoying this way too much. Um... You peek into the door, and kind of like what you saw before you came up the spiral staircase, you see a hallway and another door across from you, also well lit. Alright. Alright. Already door. Door. Here situation. we go. Quietly. This Titus' door doorhouse. Oh, it's open. This one open inward or outward? Uh, this one opens outward, away from you, to the screen left side. Uh, scatter up to the door and rack it and do Be three stooges stuff. Way more chill than you were on the last time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to quietly scatter up to the doorknob <laughs> and pull on it. Utilize much more chill. Okay. Maximum chill. There he goes. <laughs> That's more fast. So it's been day drinking. <laughs> uh, this is already opening again. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I hear things, but sometimes I'm doing twenty things at once. Oh, yeah. so. mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I said I quietly do it this time. Yes. Okay. Well, you know. Maximum chill. Well, as we're doing it, listening to see if I can open here. Okay. It seems to be um, without much drama. Uh, you manage to hang off the edge of the, uh, the door handle and just wiggle your weight until it's pushing outward away from you. Guys, push on the bottom. Okay. Right. Push. I push. 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 push the door open. Okay. Uh, Quietly. Unsurprisingly, you are in a 
lit hallway with doors. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. Many doors. Oh. So many doors. I want so many doors. It's just not there. I will drop to All the right. floor. We can assume that door to the south takes us outside. That makes sense. The door to the west. The, the garden door. door. I do not know. Where are we trying to go again? Try to find the conch, yes. Wherever the conch is, which we don't know. Could be in the front room. Could be upstairs, could be downstairs. Oh, the one... We should split. Pretty obvious that this is just <laughs> split, split the party! party. <laughs> this, this one here would take us outside. Yep. Where, where we know there's a guy there, so we'll go, and she probably doesn't keep the conch in the garden, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, did you close this door behind you? We are. We're currently closing the door. Alright, great. Quietly. The door closes. That's his thing. Perfect. Fog of door. Oh, there you go. Alright. Are you gonna fall down the hill? Are you slowly mm. falling down the hill? Do we hear or see anything coming from this door to the west? <laughs> Who's going up? I will peek. Um, I'm drawn. <laughs> I'm summoned. I'll go and see the north door? I'll go. Titus is checking out the west, I guess so. I guess I'll check the south door just just to... Uh, well, we know there's some fun. The south door just goes. to make sure. I'll wait in the middle and see who has the best door. <laughs> 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 Artie, what are you doing? I'm going to follow Seathel and be like, are you mad? I think you're mad. <laughs> yeah, you definitely owe me. I'm sure you have shot him in the butt with an arrow. Well, was it just playing? Yeah, I don't think I did it to him. I don't think she feels bad about that. Was it something I said? No, I don't feel bad about it. It was okay. something you did. Yeah. Um, well, let's start with the obvious one. Flint, you uh, look under the door to the south and see a lush lawn garden, basically. Okay. Um, you, don't, it's, you don't see much through the underneath the door, um, but it's very obvious there's lots of greenery out here. Like honey, I kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, Titus, you... Uh, you look under the door into a dimly lit room. Hmm. Um, it smells very fresh, almost like it's been scented, um, in, a, in a delightful kind of way. Uh, you you hear like the kind of like giggles of what you guess are younger children, uh, and you hear like a very deep booming voice. <laughs> Uh, and like it, you, you kind of listen for a moment. Um, it almost sounds like like a story is being told or a class is being taught or something like that. Like the way the booming voice and the childlike voices have like a sort of back and forth to them. I don't want to kill children. Yeah. Let's, yeah leave Was that an option at some point? Leave the children alone. It's always an option. <laughs> yeah. I'll convey that. I believe the children of the giants <laughs> deserve to die and give us our freedom every day. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, so much money. Behind door number two. Uh, to the north, uh, San, are you looking under or going up to the keyhole? I'll check keyhole. Well, it feels like keyhole would give me a better view, right? Yeah. Even. Yeah. yeah. You can get a little bit of... I can probably get my head into the keyhole. A little bit of an orbital rotation. Um, you your entire body into it and just kind of... Oh. You're pretty sure that w what you're looking upon is a very comfy lounge or reading room of sorts. You, you see lots of like bookshelves, uh, some kind of table and chair set up, some nice medium warm lighting. <laughs> Another door directly across from you is quite visible. Uh, there could be other doors in here, but you don't have that much of a range of vision. Okay. My door has children. My door has books. Let's go. <laughs> Let's kill those giant children. Nope. No. We shan't. We shan't. Who's, door? who's going where? Wait, Quietly, we move option? to the north door. North door it is? Nope. There's three, op there's three options. Lawn, oh, lawn, children, lounge. To the lounge. lounge. Back to the museum. Stealthily. Let's go the lounge. We're good at that. To the wall. Nope. Don't go in or out. The door opens outward towards you. My bald yeah. head. That's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. Outward towards Get you. Get out of the way of the handle. Right. I have a feeling right. Squall's about ready to scamper up. <laughs> sure. Do it. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Did I forget so to mention that there was about twelve? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, there were thirty goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 
Here we go again. Check them out. Uh, true to your initial view, uh, you find yourself in some very lounge-like room. Just pull that up here. That beautiful little couch thing. So it's great for lounging. Lounge chair. Just get a book. She's mm. fireplace. Mm. <laughs> Is a fire going? That sounds nice. Uh -huh. Is that a fireplace? Um, give me a moment. I think my portal soup. <gasps> So I'm going to kind of haphazardly describe some stuff in the room. So there's about a five foot tall table of varnished wood in the middle of the room. Uh, it's seemingly like a lower lounge like table. Um, arranged atop it appear to be several items, including a hookah. Um, a blue crystal decanter filled with a dark liquid. Oh, this is very loungy. A no wooden way. plate covered with uh, large looking fruits. Um, various other things, if you took a closer look, you could find out about. Uh, the very obvious two large padded chairs covered in what appears to be Yeti hide. Whoa. Um, and dyed a very bright, bold blue. Yeah. Um, these chairs are in fact flanking a marble fireplace carved with images of birds. Oh. Nice one, the bird. Uh, above the mantelpiece, you see a stuffed and mounted aracocra hmm? with a familiar blue plumage. Is it Jaka? It looks amazingly just like Jaka. What? Uh, she, went, oh. she went poop on Jaka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she went what? Puma. You know how Puma's got a bunch of simulacrum of himself? And he doesn't know that. Are you having been watching the Critical Role? I don't know that either. No, he probably hasn't discovered it. I don't know what a Puma is. He does. Okay. No. What's uh, Jaka? The bird is one of the birds that... Uh, that was one of the birds uh, that they created. Oh, right. Yeah. It can't be him. Why don't you take a closer look? Yes. Let's look at the bird thing. There's a thing that you can do where you can actually make its an illusory effect, <laughs> but it actually has physical form where you can make basically a copy of something. It's made out of, it's actually made out of snow. <laughs> it has complete yeah. form, it can do all the same stuff, but it can like heal and it has like half the hit points. But it looks like she's, usually you can only make one at a time, it looks like that she's made herself like an army. I don't know if she kept yeah. cloning them, so each one was like weaker. Yeah, weaker. I guess that means they're weak. Yeah. Oh, no. so they I'd like to imagine San is frantically describing the, 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 the dangerous species of simulacrums. Yeah. I don't think so. I'm sure Kylie would. Did he get it? Are you trying to get it with your foot? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what kind of that? Red velvet. Oh, red velvet. I might, I might say yes later. It's very tactile. That's fine. Oh, 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 no. That's all right. I'm not a big frosting guy. <laughs> but you have to make it a fork or spoon. Yeah. Just spoon it into your yeah, mouth. Yeah, spoon. Spoon oh. with a spoon. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get warm? My night is ruined. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say like half of it. I don't need that much frosting. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the cupcakes. Oh, that's perfect. That's good enough. That's good enough. Shove it in your mouth. No. Is that foam? Every time with that beer. Mm -hmm. Pour well, it very carefully. You little man. Watch out. That will fall off. It will fall off. Oh, no. Get my cat hair. Meow. That will fall off. <laughs> the main thing with the laptop that I was thinking is if you guys need to remember in a, a skill or ability, you can pull up your character sheets on there. Do you want to save it for later? Uh, I'll, I'll get one later. Thank you. Mm. You, know, you know how to like, get all that stuff, right? Mm. You just click up here. So <coughs> Delicious, Jack. You can make them bigger. Control left click drag is your best friend for resizing windows. Control what now? Control, control and left click and then drag. As are you taking notes? Oh, these are nice. So if anyone needs to look at abilities, that's what the laptop's for. Um. So. So then, oh, let's look at the birdie thing. You're gonna be checking out the Jaka thing. I'd like to. Yes. I would like to check out the decanter. Yeah, yeah say the table. Check out the table. We hardly knew ye. Check out the bookshelves. We never knew him. Good one. We never knew him. <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, we knew he was weird. On the bright side, that means if the uh, if, if it does work the way I'm, I was about how, to ask. how detailed would I actually know about Simulac? It is an illusion. I am a losing school, but it's out of my level. I think you'd know a lot of the core theories and structures behind it. So it, it being in it, the being in the school of illusion for sure. If we destroyed this, no, 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 that won't matter. What? But whatever they are, are nowhere near as strong as whatever this was. Huh? They're, you know, they're basically magically emboldened snowmen. Can you destroy the original? She already has. She just killed him and stuffed him. Well, I'm just asking in general <laughs> about the spell and everything. Uh, San, okay, you're enough. looking through the bookshelf while... Uh, Artie, where were you again? Sorry. Oh, uh, I am just kind of... Wandering around? By this. No. This is kind of cool. You follow us. Is there a window I could look out? Oh, stop it. No windows. <laughs> stop Damn it. it. Two doors. Oh. The, no more windows. When oh, you that's came a in. door across yeah. from the fireplace. That's a big one. We, yeah. Also, we closed the door behind us. Yeah. Thank you. For letting oh, you know. quietly. Somebody's got to remember that. I never Bing. remember that. You how sure did. Are, how big are these books? Uh, some of them are quite large. Is there any more uh, humanoid size? Some are... Make, it's, a, it's a mix. I'd say it's about 50-50 on time. Quietly. Like the size of the books. I'm going to start uh, looking through the uh, right, human shoot. size. In the same bookshelf as San or the other one? Uh, other bookshelf. Okay. Alright, well you and San are kind of poking through books. Um, why don't you both roll a d20? Just a raw D20. I'm looking for a good adventure story, maybe. Crit. Natural 20? Yep. Oh. <laughs> seven. Natural seven. Daring. You, uh, <laughs> perception? Daring. 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 No, 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 it's just a natural 20. Um, you start flipping through a few books uh, already. One of them catches your eye. Some strange tale of farmers on a haunted farmland. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, sounds clearly good. a work of fiction. Or is it? Oh. San, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you flip through a few human-sized books, and they all seem like terrible ghost stories. Um, and you eventually look to one of the larger giant-sized books and recognize arcanic symbols on the cover, uh, and start flipping through it. You, even with your, are you still one still wearing the amulet? What's that? Are you he still wearing the amulet? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just learned that. <laughs> you can roll. Actually, I'm just going to roll this. Sam, this one looks really good. <laughs> so does this one. Do you want to read this one after I'm done with it? Maybe later. Mm -hmm. It's about ghosts. A lot of these are about ghosts, too. It's a picture book. Wait, there's more about ghosts? Why do you like ghosts? Everybody likes a good scary story. I don't. It makes you feel alive. I hate mm -hmm. scary stories. Are we done with all this? Campfire. What? Campfire good. scary stories? No. Oh, oh yeah. I, mean, I, thought you, I thought you were going to burn the books. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yeah. Nazis. Yeah. That's sad. That's that book burned. Because <laughs> <laughs> they burned by All right. right. No knowledge. Cool. <laughs> uh, that maybe she just doesn't like ghost stories. I don't know. Mm. You know. Yeah. Good night. So as you um, burn. as you flip oh. through it, um, for the sake of keeping things sort of simple, um, you notice uh, three different spells of interest that you think you can understand well enough without like a really long stretch of time understanding what was written in here and how you know every wizard magic user has their own shorthand and yeah. probably way that they keep things yada 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 it all breaks down to you feel like there are three spells that you could easily understand in here one of them is uh the spell of aura of vitality which i'm gonna reroll because that's a paladin spell <laughs> yeah <laughs> um one of them is arcane lock uh that's a ritual one of them is color spray. Sounds fun. We're gonna use that to paint the rooms. Really? Uh, yeah. Pentown <laughs> black. <laughs> Pentown red. Uh, oh no! You get that like that. <laughs> like a rainbow. <laughs> like a rainbow. I think color spray is illusion too. So yeah, I'd, I'd be able to do that one really quick. And the other one is. Hold, please. Oh wow. Uh, magic circle. Oh. Magic circle. Creates a circle. 
think that's what we're doing. Magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> Guys, look at the circle. It's so magical. <laughs> it's like unicorns floating around, I don't know. How do you know the amount of experience we have, John? Um, oh, I was guessing. So, our... So are you just like ripping the pages out of the book, or? They are written um, in the style of what would be considered a scroll. Okay. Meaning so that I could, like, could you could take it, you could rip it out and take it with you. Okay. Because yeah, I wouldn't have enough time to just yeah spray it. Well, it yeah. Unless we want to stop here for about three hours. Like, no, he's not. Me. So it's our no. name lock. Let's keep looking. Color spray. And magic, magic circle. circle. There aren't any like travel books or anything, right? Like a lonely planet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you keep looking. All right. We'll come back. Yeah. Um, on the table, Flint, you're eyeing that decanter. Yeah. The dark liquid inside smells of a very fine fruity wine. Ooh. 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 There are matching, uh, slightly bluish tinted crystal glasses that match the decanter. All right, oh, I can hold it. See, Flint, you, old you quickly the smell <laughs> the fruit that's on the plate nearby, and it's uh, these very fine figs. Ooh. Is it like humongous? No. Is larger it? larger than what you'd expect, but I'll not like gigantic. Take, Full of fiber. I'll Is the decanter gigantic? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's like so it's like it's almost like a fucking oh, water cooler on the well, on the yeah. sports team <laughs> bench. Little, 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 so we can't get that into the bag of holding. I don't think so. Why you just fill up that new little flash thing you got? Oh yeah, I can fill up the the the, the, the empty uh, flask with it. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. You can't pour it though, can you? No. Titus, um, you're staring at the bird. stuffed bird. Uh, and it's Ow. it's almost like it's looking at you, uh, and it is Repeat. down to the feathers, like an identical twin to the Jaka you've met before. Uh, and he is definitely dead. Dead and stuffed, like uh, like taxidermied. But very live looking. Yeah. yeah. Is the, is the hookah like um, stock like? Yes. Yeah. Hookah? Oh, it's a giant hookah? We're gonna have yep. a stone, uh, stone dwarf over yeah. here. Can I tell if like the uh, it's um, it just uh, just flavored tobacco or is it something like? You don't know. There are six hoses coming off of the center of the hookah chamber. I don't even want to know what giant smoke. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna mess you up. I would say we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We're here on business, not pleasure. Can I look from the door to the west? Ooh. Huh? Well, that'd be handy. Sand, well, sand perks up, almost falling off her broom. <laughs> if we do something like this, when we're fighting the dragon. Oh, very handy. Targets oh, oh, oh. within the cylinder can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. So we could basically make like a little safe home base. Wait, let me check something real quick. Doesn't Titus have like an aura that Never mind, it takes a minute to cast. Nope. <laughs> well, we, could, we could do it outside the dragon's door while she doesn't know we're there. If we someone get gets scared, chance. you run away, run back into that room, and then it'll break the Let's go. worry about the future when we get there. Never mind, but. <laughs> but never about the future. Um, Titus. Yes. You are looking uh, through this next door to the west. Yes. Uh, and while this looks like a lounge, you immediately surmise that this is uh, the counterpart to the main library, which you are looking into. Uh, very slightly more dimly lit room filled with shelves and an even larger table in front of you. Oh, guys, there's a library. No immediate signs of other doors. Another You're saying this out loud? Yes. You just lost the wizard. Oh. <laughs> you lost the wizard? What is to the north? Hang on, I'm getting to a good part. God. Don't read the book now. What? Take it to go. Oh, right. Yeah. We're not. I put the book away. <laughs> I go up to the door to peek under. Put the book into your shelf. Do I see anything? Uh, you see a fairly well lit hallway, just as same width as the one you came in before you got to this lounge. 
uh, ends with another door at the other end, and it's hard to tell for sure, but you think there's at least one or two other doors on either side. I see a hallway and more doors. Doors forever. All right. Titus. 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 Did you see any travel books? Uh, okay. Move on from the books. We're, we're going <laughs> towards the door. <laughs> Take a couple books. We'll read them later. Hopefully our tower has a What are the odds? Can I see if there's any pirate the race books? Uh, in, the in the lounge or in, yeah, in the, the next? What are you trying to do? I want to buy a library. I want to buy a library. Yeah, I want to buy a library. Everybody yeah, wants to go to the library. library. To the library. <laughs> Quietly. And shut the door after us. Quietly. Okay, hold on. And if they catch us, we're going to say we were hoping to find something to read while we waited. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris Rowe told us, told him told us we can come up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say some. How else would we have gotten up here undetected? Yeah, yeah that'd be impossible. Come on. No. Jock will let us come up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should we just be carrying this body with us? <laughs> we can unburny it. Oh, yeah. Jocka. Whichever, whichever, whichever <laughs> one said, said it was like, cool. well, the nine was, oh, it must not have been that. It was one, it was one of the other Jocka said it was okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a different one, not this one. Squee. <laughs> You all go in and close the door, as you said. So everybody's at work. Everybody's lounging. Or uh, and it's it's pretty clear as the moment you enter. Uh, the dim light, but a lot of natural light coming in from the double paned windows to the left, to the west of you. Sand uses all of her turns in the next minute to make an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this place is filled with books. Um, a lot of them more giant sized than humanoid, but wow. like before, there's a fair mix. Maybe about a 30 70 split in favor okay. of the giant sized. Um, there, uh, again, large wooden table right in the middle. Uh, We're probably skipping all the ghost stories. Yeah. But tell me if you see a travel journal. The a interesting travel. thing about this table is that its legs are carved to look like rearing pegasi. Wow. Um, it's a very dominating feature of the room. Yeah. Except it's a huge table. Okay. There is an ornate bronze lantern hanging above the table, uh, again with the sort of continual magic flame inside I of it. I love whoever did the decor in this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Also, Sirio is super comfy. Yeah, he's chilling. <laughs> Do a lap, Sam, and then we're out of here. You guys go ahead. So there's no, there's no doors, just a window? There's just a window? Uh, correct. Yeah. Are there any books on... Pirates. <laughs> well, this one's called Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho. Uh, I'll tell you what, so <laughs> if you're looking for a specific book, like something on pirates, uh, roll a percentage die, so that's two dice, and for a book on pirates, you're looking to get a 51 or higher. What about a book, a travel book? <laughs> uh, I'd say it's also a 51 or higher. All right. Yeah. 82. Wow. Oh. I'd be looking for anything on five magic or <laughs> religion. Okay. I don't think I have history or good for you. It's nice that everyone's so into reading. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's having, not like this other group I know. I'm having a good uh what do you call it? A good, a good effect on everyone. Uh, Flint, you find a non fiction work that feels like it has lots of fictional moments in there. It's about the Pirates of the Purple Rocks, uh, described as a deadly set of islands just west of Neverwinter. Do it. I want to roll for books. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found some books about the sea. There's right. magic in the water. I want to go to the ocean. Uh, you probably be able to get some out of Flint. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do that. It's 51. 51 or higher. So it's, a, it's two different dice. It's a D10 and a, the one with the D10. What's there to know? It's a no, no, it's it's smite. Smite. It looks just like that, but it's single. No, it's a D8. It's this one. No travel book for you. Damn it. Uh, you roll those two together. I want to travel the world. But I got this sweet book about the pirates. That's a 22. Oh, that sounds like a You don't find anything particular about the sea, but you do notice Flint reading a book about something in the sea. All right, I want to borrow that book. <laughs> and we go on our next trip. Well, probably start a little library on our airship. Yeah, we'll have yeah. a little library. Right somewhere out here. There's a lot of time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. 
Uh, one moment, Artie. Oh, man. Oh, I, I definitely didn't find anything. I, I, oh. got, a, I got a five. Uh, oh, no. yeah. You're just flipping around from the next one yeah, to the dude. next one. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, and then San, sorry, you are... It's like spell books. Looking spell for books anything right. magical. Uh, yeah. It, you have more spells. I'll read that farmer mystery. Really it sounds good, too. You got it. <laughs> what any mm-hmm. particularly fancy or old Shout looking books? Mm-hmm. Sam's breadth of interest mm-hmm. for books is probably a lot wider than Yeah, you just probably take anything. Uh, I mean, the Christmas bucket. Mm. Oh, yeah, I haven't gone either. Dude, you have to cancel on something. Yeah, it's a Oh, what were they doing? They were going to force me to watch Elf. <laughs> hey, that was a good movie. It's better than the Hallmark I've watched watching. Elf too many times. So hey. I can't watch it. Um, <laughs> you're flying around, San. Um, roll a percentage die for me. Let's just see where it lands. No, no, no. I still need to watch Oh, 98. 98. Your Netflix movie? Have you watched it? Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Looks good. You. Immediately clock um, some very, very expensive books. Um, one of them looks very similar to uh, the scrolls that you were reading before, the Deathic scrolls. Um, you immediately recognize like the same scripture, and also being on a higher shelf, you start to put two and two together and realize that there's some valuable shit up here. Um, and let's see, it's an original play. I mean, I imagine you'd be able to understand Deathic script. You being yeah. San and a dwarf, um, it's, it's yeah. like ancient dwarvish, basically. Okay. Um, basically, we like reading Shakespeare. You immediately clock it as this one of a kind book uh, of original plays written in ancient dwarvish, the language of Deathic. Oh yeah, she definitely doesn't get. To, is it is it giant size or regular? Uh, it's regular size. Oh yeah, she doesn't does not get to keep that. <laughs> um, I will take that, but then I will slide all the other books around it just a little bit together so it doesn't look like there's a book missing. You um, notice that there is a similarly, um, like the, the script looks very, it's the same author, you can tell. Uh, and it's a giant sized book immediately next to this book. Um, and at a glance, it looks like it's a book of translations into the common tongue. That one's giant size? It is. Yeah. I can't take that one. Um... You get the sense with your ninety fucking eight roll uh, that among these higher shelves are probably some other very very valuable possibly magical books, um, but it would just take time. So it depends on how much time you're willing to spend in here. It's how much time we, they're willing to tolerate me being up here. Pretty much. I want to take random books and then like put them in the wrong oh. spaces. No! Oh my god! We don't my have index is. This. We have to find the conk or get the hell out of here, right? That's true. We probably should be like I mean, the conk. Like, take a couple books, but we gotta go. Or I'm. Just Why not haphazardly take out. some books from the? Grab, show. grab a well, They're book. playing around down there, whatever, and basically until they tell me they're at the door and they're demanding I'm going. Sad, we're at the door, we're demanding. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're rearranging books. All right. Are you <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Someone eventually is going to come in here. So yeah. should... Is there any door in this room? No. no. Uh, just the one. Question. Oh, if just if the I one. do, just, I'm not going to lean against it, but if I just look out the window, can I see our airship no. from here? You do not. It's you see us. open air. Gotcha. Isn't it above us? We're right here. I thought it was down, uh, what was that? We're right here. Our airship's right there. Uh, the airship's in the I thought it was in the courtyard for some reason. Oh, no, I guess not. Because this is, right? yeah, this is oh, I guess last time it was in the courtyard. We have to go up. Or, I mean, wherever the conk is. But this is the room where, like, we heard kids playing and someone reading them a book. Yeah, I don't know what to get out of So it looks like we're right here. I don't want to get involved in that. So I imagine if you're looking out, you'd probably look down and see the, the courtyard. So, yeah, park. I thought that's the courtyard where we were last time. That's, yeah, that's where we parked, but this time they guided us to the top. Yeah. So as you stand up on the windowsill, looking up, down, left, and right, you see cloud stuff, um near the base of the the curved wall that you're standing on. Um, and upstairs. above you see nothing. Okay. Uh, and so you just look, you're looking at you're basically at the edge of the castle. Wow. This All is right. kinda cool. Okay, I'm getting down now. I grab a shell. <laughs> Sam ah! okay, grab some enough. books and then we're out of here. Okay. Wanna head out. How much more time are you taking? As much as I can get. Uh, I was saying right. just take books we're giving you two minutes. One of them will be used. Two minutes? Two minutes? Two minutes? Okay. Uh, right, I, two I wanna minutes. Go, I want to go listen at the door. Don't make us come up there. Can we With advantage, roll a perception check. Oh, can we just 
give him like the, the bag of holding and just have him go like. Well, like, a lot of them are giant. Holding, so. I mean, hey, if you want to give it a try. Come on. Grab it on. Uh, 19 plus a perception? Yep. 21. Oh, shit. Okay. Just as uh, Seathla is getting to her wits end between Flint running around moving books, making noise, already still gazing out the window, <laughs> and sand flying from corner of the room and back again 20 times over. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh. I'm doing everything stealthily. The door begins to open from one of you, probably Seathla trying to push it and they're dragging Artie over and making him open it. Uh, and good. just as they're going, like, you uncover like the most majestic looking book what? of all the books oh. you've seen thus far. It's an enormous spell book. Five wow. feet tall and four feet wide. Damn. And two feet fucking thick. Jesus. It is inlaid with bronze and about 60 gemstones throughout what? the binding on the spine, the back, and the cover. Does anyone have a shrinking spell? Oh, <laughs> you... Okay. Immediately get the sense, um, oh. probably from the inscription inside, it says, To my dearest sister, Sansuri. Oh god. Uh, it's the Countess's spellbook. Is it, who does it say from? Uh, the inscription is signed from your loving brother, John Jacob. Is the Countess? Thullen. Oh, okay, I was afraid he was going to see Zephyros. Uh, oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. <laughs> is the, uh, is the Countess a wizard? Do we know that? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. All right. Did I get a sense of, right. like, just quick flash table of contents? Like, what, like, what level? Um, well, you are familiar with one spell um, called Mordenkainen Sword. Um, so there are some spells organized that go up to that Level, level that spell. is. Is that a level 7 spell? Oh, that is correct. Oh, maybe we should just steal the conk and get the hell out of here. Yeah, I really want the conk. Unless there's something you can do. Do you want to take the book? We can cut it into four pieces, stuff it in the <laughs> bag, yeah. put it together later. I don't know if that's going to work. There there's a lot of spells in there. Is there something you can read? Quickly? All right. Can I just carry the book over my head? And no. No. We can't, we can't keep it with us. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to remember this. Is, I'm going to just. Take a note of where it's at. Okay. Mental note. Really? If we can possibly get out of this, while I still have four, uh, two level four spell slots left, I'm taking this motherfucker. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I have a way to do it. Carrot, stay on the stick. Yes. <laughs> okay, outside we go, quietly. And then we close the door behind us. I'm not very motivated for this. I listen on the door first. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Do, you, do you want me to sneak it up to the... Do anything? Guard? To the... Which door? Sorry. I don't think you the door. This door? Oh, interesting. Run up the wall, yes. put it in the Just in our the ship. Door before well, we open it. Um, There's only that one. Okay, one second. You could sneak foot. past the one that's out. Technically, you could. I would just run up the wall. No, there would be guards around the ship. While they're talking forever. While they're talking forever, kind of looking at the book. Make a perception check. No, but everyone else would know that magic is running up the wall. Only, there's only the one guy, and he's just playing chess. Yeah, so but everyone would be able plus to sense seven. It. You don't know, like 18? 18? Yeah. 18. You should know um, right now that they can sense it. Yeah, you that's true. But it would be, you would have to be essentially sneak past that noise. Yeah, that's all right. Is it children? Jarring it's noise? Like voices. <gasps> hey, shut up. I hear voices, and they're not just yours. Oh, okay, where is she hearing them? To the noise. Run. Out the door. She's pressed up against the door. Yeah, I thought I'd oh. listen before we just opened the door. I hear voices. Do they sound like kids? Uh, they start to get louder and closer oh. as you continue to hold <gasps> your ear. And you hear, like, giggling um, voices that sound like children. The kids, the kids might be coming the to the library. Oh, of course know. they're coming to the library. Shit! I don't know. You, uh, forced to kill these kids. I don't you, know. kind of, you kind of hear, like, the pitter-patter, and they're just sort of like, it almost sounds like they're, like, running in circles, like, playing tag or something. Oh, oh God. Just oh, God. playing out there. Like you don't want a kid giant to get you, they'll like rip your head. Whoa. If we peek <laughs> under the table, we see them running Wait, around. Table? Fun. Under the, the door. door. Are you doing that? Yes. Well, now that we no, hear something. I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> I go hide under the table. Yeah. You can hear it. I want to see how close they are. If I can see under the door. You're going to look? Okay. Yeah. Um, 
You take a look down, make a stealth check for me. Oh god. Mm, five. Oh. My stealth uh, you have a plus nine. Wow. Oh, damn. Uh, it's not your finest moment, but it's still pretty quiet compared to anyone else. I mean, the kids are loud. They They're loud. Watch. They're making noise. Um, so you look back out into the lounge where you previously were, and then you just see their small but large for kids, I guess, for, yeah, compared to you. Run around. They're running around the but table chasing each other, and you see a larger figure kind of like slowly walking up to the table, and it's just like leaning down on it, and you hear the clinking of glass. Is he drinking? We're drinking on the job. <laughs> oh god, I guess we're gonna have to wait for these guys. What if they come into the library? There's no the way teachers seem drunk. Out that window. <laughs> oh, He's god. gonna pass out on his desk. Does it appear like that's the only way in and out this door, that window? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go out the window. Oh, dang. And then into what? It's well, just yeah, the open out the window, air. everyone can see us. Yeah, it's the, the ground floor, right? I imagined you pulled back after you. Looked. Are you still staring? No, okay. I'm done. I, yeah. Um, okay, so there's a teacher and kids, giants, running around. Uh, not right here, but pretty close. But there's like vines growing up the walls, right? Outside? Um, outside this window? Yeah. No. I mean, there's there's some greenery, uh, but not nothing like um, the like chessboard. Ivy. Ivy, okay. That's yeah. Yeah. climb on. Uh, you do you do recall Ibuki, wherever he may or she may be, uh, describing lots of climbable vines and stuff like that in the gardens, but this well, we, is not the gardens. We could get Artie to go out, and you can run a rope up and then like tie it to the top of the thing. Yeah, but then it'll still be in plain view of everybody. They got the top up there is just covered with yeah, and it's midday. Yeah. I mean, if not now, we'll probably just have to wait. So it's right now. From what we know, outside in the lounge, there's a guy sitting in the chair and a couple of kids running around. Yes. Uh, Assuming Sifa told you all that. Yeah, okay. I did. Well, well if, we, if we want to try and make a quick loud. break for it, I can try and make an illusory distraction. <laughs> Maybe that we'll just kind of draw them off just. No, we should stop using magic. Well, I think we'll have to wait this one. Well, it won't be something they can see. Right. Because we, we know right about there there's a door. We know right about there. I hear there's a door. I've been. He's, you've let me cast magic through walls when I knew what was going on before. So it, 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 it still depends on the spell. But, uh, what would you it would do? Basically, to minor illusion, not to the kids or anything. Just like behind the door to the north. Yeah. Just make it sound like there's a uh, like a really loud yappy puppy. <gasps> huh? they, all, they all run that <laughs> way. They all get distracted. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you if you're. Well, do we want to go south though, or do we want to go? We want to go north. north. Do we want to go north? South uh, is south of where, where we came to. Uh, it sounds like, well, oh, that's right, because we can't go up from there. We have to go north. Well, the stairs kept going. Well, there's, there's, yeah, there's, yeah. there's yeah. either, which either north, which if a spiral staircase we went up to. But if there's not stairs to the north, that's oh, it stops. It? Okay. Oh, if there's not stairs to the north, we're stuck. And we know the... There were four doors. The room is actually, like, the room where Sansurius is actually downstairs from us, right? I don't Because we were... The saga and more action. Let's kill some kids. No. no. The room, the, the guest room they put us in was the same level as her room, I think. Because we said we walked past it. Yeah, so we'd actually have to get back down to that level. So we're actually two levels above where she is right now. Right. So that's why I was thinking if we, if we went back down the stairs to the yeah, other one. we want to go north. All right. Right? Because there's also the doors back down the stairs that we had to look at. Well, yeah, so the option is use your illusion, run to the north, hopefully not get noticed, or just walk outside, get noticed, and say, excuse me, we're lost. <laughs> yeah, we could do that too. Do we need silence, or is that enough? Let's do this. Fuck it to the south. Yes, yeah. Or we could jump out there, take the kids hostage, enough. demand what we want. No. <laughs> oh my god. That's just a backup plan. <laughs> Like so, can, uh, try your puppy I'm, thing. I'm perfectly fine with having uh, Titus, you know, try and smooth talk our way through, like, you know. <laughs> distract with puppy, or? or I mean, I can, I can do it down that way and distract so they go yeah. back down towards the shot. But then they just came from that direction, so they know there's nothing there. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Puppies can show up anywhere. Who knows? 
regardless, they may or may not be interested. Like, give it a shot. Alright, and then let's run. Let's, let's get ready to open this door. Already shot. Door knob. So, you're going up to the door. So, I mean, like, again, you know, I'm gonna go like being, down. being like a specialist in the school of magic, I think if you're physically close to a place and you can perfectly visualize it, then yeah. Because it's where we were. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a pretty good so basically sound photographic like memory. The other side of the door. door. All right, I'm where you came up. in? Yeah. The door from like area. the museum area? Uh, uh, well, from the hallway where we saw. Yeah, yeah. I, th I can only do it for thirty feet, so I'd be getting down the bottom corner as far oh, as wow. I can, and, like visual. Thirty feet not far enough. Far. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm saying. Like I get down to the bottom right corner. Oh, the room. So you're gonna sink it? No, 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 like visualizing thirty feet away. Okay. That, that's not far enough. It might be. It might that's be. gonna be in the room. That was a pretty big room. And this door was in the middle of that room. Well, I'll make it. It'll, so they're pro. It's probably at least below then. Yeah. So I'm making. You know how you can like make stuff sound like it's further away than it is. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be casting illusion that is throwing its voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And I'll make it sound like. <laughs> Make a sound that sounds like a puppy behind the door. I can't wait to see your eventual <laughs> oh, question. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Let's do yeah. it. All right, so this and is. I'm casting the hell out of guidance on this because I'm gonna need any. Yeah, so guidance gives you a plus 1d4, right? Yeah. yeah. And then your actual illusion spell. It's minor illusion? Minor illusion. Okay. Um, well, Art. give yourself guidance. And then you don't have to actually roll anything for minor illusion, do you? Well, it was, uh, just whether or not it, it's convincing enough to distract them, I guess. No. Yeah, so like for that, why don't we do an Arcana's check? You can use the guidance on that. All right. Arcana check. Okay, so that'll be... That'll be uh, 32. It's almost like you conjured an actual <laughs> dog. Um, you, can, you can visualize it so well in your mind. Uh, and you project the sounds of a barking, playful puppy to the south. Uh, I think it's the highest we've ever gotten. I don't understand. Anything. I got an 18 plus 2 plus 12. Yay. Level 9. Um, <laughs> Do we hear the children start moving? You see if the tires ever still near the door. Um, you hear like the pitter patter of like the kids just running in circles for all this time. And like they're breathing, and they're like, and they're like ah, ah, what? Did you hear that? And like they go, you hear the door slam open, they go running to the south, and you just hear like, hurry back. Oh, oh damn it. Ah. That was a good shot. I think we just have to go for it. Yeah. Either wait here, or Let's we go. just run out there and we say, gotta hello. Go. There was a puppy dog. Just force the yeah. issue right now. Can you all the keys? Ah. All right. All right. I'm not going to take the lead on this one. You take the lead on this one. <laughs> Well, as a team, the do we want to wait, or do we want to just run out and... I mean, if the guy just sat down, he's probably going to be there for a while. I think no one's still out of the lounge for two minutes. Fair enough. Let's, Let's, go, Let's go out there. Is he facing the other way, or he's facing... Can we tell him? by looking under Well, that's right there. The couches are facing the, the, door. the, the fireplace. No, they're facing the door. I thought they are facing the fireplace. They are. Uh, they swivel, actually. They swivel. Oh, they swivel. Facing. Well, they can Do we know anyway. which way he's facing? Can we tell just by looking at where his feet are? Can we, like, are his feet facing the fire? Yeah. Um, looks like he's facing the fire. Oh, okay. Open the door already. It's quietly as can, and we're running. We're I'm running. Running. As quietly as I can, I'm going to scamper up the door. I'm going to hang off the handle. Okay. Make a, a bald little head and give him guidance. Make a sleight of hand check with a plus d4. Slide a hand check. God, I don't know. I don't think we're good at that. I'm actually okay at that. Okay. Uh, 14 plus another 4? Plus, plus a d4. Plus a d4. Oh, plus a d4. So that's an 18 plus a d4. No, it's a 14 plus a 2. 16. Plus the 4. Oh, that, that plus, you already had the plus 4 in there? I already added my plus 4. So yeah. 16. So 16 total. Okay. All right. Still better than I expected. <laughs> um, already with the quietness of a ninja that he sometimes pulls off oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just manages to quietly unlatch the door, push it open, it swings open, it swings I think, towards you, 
can't remember which way this one went. I also can't remember. Really um, it would make sense if it went into the library. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you kind of swoop Kind of pulls it back. Like it's always to the left. You can still hear like the very dull, very distant thumping of childlike feet. It sounds like they've continued running south out to the garden. Um, yes, silent. Okay. And no, no, no. no. no? All right. they, they sense magic. They can see oh, it. Oh, that's right. They Remember can, the whole thing they, they do. They can see it. But they, okay. they can sense, they sense it. it. You hear like this yeah, no. sort of oh, chair on. swiveling okay. under weight sound, and you see the entire decanter hanging, just silhouetted, the back of the arm of uh, this giant in front of the fireplace, which is now lit. Run. Quietly. I'm gonna run up to the next door as quietly as I can. I'm gonna touch his head and give him guidance. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna run up the now wall. That guy's chilling. He's enjoying his drink in the fireplace. Yeah. I'm gonna jump up to the line. Are you all moving with him? Yeah, yeah, we're I'm all going. running. I'm going. Everyone's running behind him? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yes. I'll let you do the honors, guys. Um, okay. Uh, Artie, you run up to the next one. Yes. Um, you all see that the flames have this giant's attention, as well as the drink. Um, for now, given your size, you little mice, run to the northern door, and already you pitter-patter to the next handle. Roll another slide of hand. Check. Okay. Okay. All right, 16 plus a... 18. 18. Okay. Great. Now, collectively... All of you need to make a stealth check. Oh, damn. Um, it's a group effort, so as long as at least half of you roll above a DC 10. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, this the dice. pirate falls on his face. 17. Wait, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm using a luck point. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Yay! Is that a weird dice? What did you get? I Seven. don't know, but that's the second time Plus, I've done that. Plus, or total. I mean, you can move that's my... Dice. Oh, I think you actually have disadvantage too. Or maybe. Oh, no, 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 like puffing or like putting pieces of cloth under your footfalls when things don't look so good for the paladin. Uh, and you're all in front of the door, and before you know it, Artie is already up on the handle, pulling it out open towards you all. It's coming towards us? Yeah. Quite the team. And it opens up into a long hallway that seems to terminate in another door with doors on either to, I'm gonna, side. I'm going to jump on the other side, I'm going to climb up, grab the handle, and say, pull me, pull it close. All right, just quietly no, pull, pull it close. It, pull it, pull it. Yes. And once, it, once the do door is closed, I'm going to let go and fall to the floor, so that it quietly, yeah, that quietly closes, hopefully. Okay. You can land on your feet. It won't hurt. I need to do that slow land. Right. Well, based on all the amazing <laughs> rolls before, we can, we can say that you safely make it into the next hallway oh God, as quietly as can be hoped for <laughs> without rush. stirring the oh. sitting giant teacher or baby, teamwork. babysitter, who knows. Makes the dream work. That's fucking teamwork. Oh my God. All right. Okay. All right. Let us peek through these other doors. That door is um, off. So this should be called peeking doors. Yeah. <laughs> Episode, what was it? Episode 50. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I tried to do all this ahead of time with the parrot, but they killed it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, right. This door seems off kilter to the north. Mm. You oh, do yeah. notice yeah. that the wall itself has a slight curvature towards oh. it, giving the door a slightly different angle. Yeah. Almost as if you're at the outer edge of the that tower. Door that. Oh. It must be an outdoor staircase. I'll be where that pool is. Hmm. Oh. Mm, pools are nice. I'm playing the role yeah. of the giant with his decanter. <laughs> oh, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah. I've other people think the pool's nice. I can't believe we did that. Yeah, the other kids think the pool's nice. I'm yeah, they not out there right now. Yeah. You guys it? This is, I think Kylie got this, a baby Belgian blonde aged in red wine barrels. Wow, that mm -hmm. sounds delightful. Anyone? Anyone? Is it Anyone? Is it yeah. a baby Belgian? It's quite full if you'd like to try yeah, some. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Baby? It's also very foamy, as you saw before. I don't, I'm pouring it on the side, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Let, the, let, it, let one of the cheeky ones pour it. Hmm? The cheeky ones. 
Cheek Owens. Cheek Owens. What? What? Chickens? That's better. Last the most. Oh, you mean the Anyone else? Yeah. Really good. What was that? Can you have one of the ones with uh, the black labels? I remember there was two of them. One was, I think one was an espresso and one was a, co- uh, a chocolate. It's all dark. Uh, wine. The white barrel flavor. It says baby flavor. Origin of darkness. Tastes like baby. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Origin of sure. darkness. Smooth. It sounds pretty radical. Tastes yeah. like babies. Smoke. Very smoky. Oh, oh yeah, that is good. Yeah, that's one last time. Oops, sorry. Right. Which one's this one? Origin of darkness. Oh. That's a coffee one? Chocolate. Ooh, this one's a chocolate. I think the other one's a coffee. Uh-huh. Chocolate and pistachio. The buff is Canola. falling down and turning the wheel. Chocolate and pistachio. Yeah. Which yeah. <laughs> Wait, what everything. is falling down? Yeah. This buff, this, this oh. thing is like, everything's oh. getting mushed. <laughs> the the <laughs> lamp's falling over. Oh. On the bridge. Jeez, why the handle is there? Cannoli. Wow. Good. It's interesting. You know what's interesting? This book of pirates. <laughs> Are you getting me right now? I am. Actually, I'm in a really good spot with the farmer. There's a ghost in this book. They're growing wheat. Wheat? 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 Yeah. Wheat? Oh, no. Wheat. 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 Like, like a long sock in there. It sounds good. Yeah. You should, you should share that with Titus. He, he grew up on a farm, right? I sure did. Yeah. Oh, he probably shit. likes this kind of stuff. But it's 8.4%. Woo! Damn, for a stout? That's an imperial stout. Yeah, it's got to be imperial. Yeah. Bur- oh, it's bourbon barrel aged. Oh, it's delicious. That sounds pretty good. Anyone else start watching Mandalorian yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It Love it. Night. Love it. I've oh. seen the first half. First episode. I've <laughs> seen the first four. I yeah, same. I've seen the one. I, I like it. I'm just. Sorry. There hasn't been a lot of time to watch TV right now. I saw, I saw yeah. the one from yesterday. I'm... Oh, no. Oh, what came out yesterday? Well, it's very yeah. good. I didn't okay. watch the episode. Episode yesterday. five. Oh, okay. I am only up to four. So. I haven't even made it to Baby Yoda. Oh. Baby Yoda. You know Baby Yoda. He's very cute. It's already been spoiled for you, huh? It's yeah, not it's even a baby. It's, it's everywhere on the internet. I mean, technically, that's, just, that's why I watched it. In the first yeah, place. Jay got me to watch it, and then, cool. like, an hour later, I saw Baby Yoda online. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad we watched it. Oh, did you see the, uh, the, new, the new Elf on, on the Shelf? No. That was uh, that's... Baby Yoda on a Pagoda. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, I did see that. <laughs> like, they're getting more elaborate, and that, yeah, that was so easy. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's merging the elf on the shelf meme with the baby Yoda meme. It's like, that's, yeah. I was like, that's the winner. He's officially called the kid. The Not child. baby Yoda. He's the child. The child. The child. The kid is the goat. Yeah. But it's baby. <laughs> I'm Betty. He's a clone of Yoda. Yeah. yeah. I have nothing from the show that's good, like, you can believe that, but in Star Wars, there's clones, there's a Yoda, there's a baby Yoda, it's a clone. Are we in this big? I mean, does, does the species just never procreate? What's I have no idea. No one. That's, that's like part of the thing about it, because no one's ever... It's like, like the third of the species have been like... We don't even know what a Yoda is. Yeah. There was like one other one in the, in the Jedi Council in like Phantom Menace or that's something. That's what I heard. I've never noticed Yaddle. Yeah, like yeah, Senator Yaddle or something like Yaddle? that. Yaddle? Yeah. Did they like those wine names. Did her or him and Yoda fuck? Maybe they're like... Oh, maybe, 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 Yoda baby. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe, going maybe they're all gender. gender. not attractive. <laughs> Good that was. It is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a species thing or a Yoda specific thing? Uh, right. Exactly. Do you, good question. Do you, do you naturally just start talking weird when you're a uh, Yoda child? <laughs> maybe I, I don't know. I mean, Only if you grew up in the swamps. <laughs> I guess it could work. It's 50 years old. What? It doesn't speak. The baby. Uh, the kid. Smoke, I never really watched them watch them, but... Um, Father you are. <laughs> it looked like a uh, wolf and cub. Yeah. yeah. In, the, in the Star Wars... 
classic style of ripping off like Japanese yes. samurai <laughs> stories. It's a Western Japanese yeah. samurai. Film. Yeah, definitely. It has, it has a kind of a those pirate. samurai shows from uh, Bob's Burgers that they always talk about. It's based on Wolf and Cub. Is that based on yeah. Wolf and Cub? Okay. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure like a lot of Tarantino stuff probably is too. Yeah. Yeah. I always love those episodes. They really crack me up. Yeah. It's got a real Firefly vibe to it. Yes. Yeah. The Mandalorian. A yeah. sci-fi yeah. Western. Yeah. Oh, good. Cowboy Bebop. Oh, good. All right. All right. Uh, another hallway. More you doors. Find some damn stairs. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Be All right. Cool. I'll look to the north. I'll look to the the west. I'll look to the east. Come. I'll look to the south. <laughs> Already forgotten. <laughs> what are we doing here? Hmm. Who am I? Am I a man? Am I a Muppet? I'm a, if I'm a man, I'm a Muppet. Now you're a man. I'm a man. Oh, my Pizza. All right, sorry, let's get my bearings. Um, who's going where? I'm going yeah. north. Going north, all right. Going to the west. All right. Stealthily. Well, let's go counterclockwise, starting with Flint. Uh, or sorry, clockwise. Um, you... People can actually oh. get past me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to see that and say, are you sure you're not angry about something? No, please. <laughs> Flint, you, uh, you look under a room. It appears to be <laughs> lodgings of some kind. Um, quite large. Uh, Fancy lodgings or just yeah. lodging lodgings? Lodgings. Lodgings. All right. Nothing too specific from your under-the-door viewing. Um, San to the east... Uh, you see a very messy room. Um, you would guess that it's some kind of playroom. And Flint, the smell of grass is quite strong as you look out right upon is. one of the lawn rooftops. To the north. To the north. north. Oh. Okay, so you don't really have any no. options. We got some lodgings to the left. Outside this way is the outside. Huh. A, ch <laughs> a children's room to the right. Uh, well, that sounds awful. We're really involved with the children. So okay. I'm guessing we're going left. Unless we want to go outside. Left. Could outside lead us room. to stairs? So we're going to outside? Maybe. What else can we do? Like I said, the only place left with stairs is back where we came. I don't know. That was going down. Oh, going that was down. Stairs going so up. going underground? Yeah, those stairs only went up this level that we're on now. Mm. Right, if there, if there is a way down from here, there has to be a way. I mean, we've searched every. How do you get to the rest of the castle? It's a great idea. It's a great question. It's a great question. Maybe this way. <laughs> what a way to find out. Is there any part of the floor plane we haven't checked yet? Um, one moment. We haven't gone into this room on the left. <laughs> we haven't gone outside yet. You have to go outside to get to the we, part of the castle. I mean, we walked. Oh, I, I am very sorry. The uh, the spiral stairs do go up one more floor. Oh, uh, back in the uh, floor. Uh, up one more. My apologies. Yeah, Is that the way? So we would have come come down through that way when we came from the airship, right? Um, we were blindfolded when we went. Were we? Did we they feel like we walked a bunch of stairs? One moment. I mean, I don't know how else we would get here. Oh, uh, you do recall now, um, being quickly hurried past, maybe one of you caught a glimpse of some museum-like places you went down and down spiral stairs. Okay. When you first got here, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we can't go back anyway, and these doors to the left and the right seem only to take us into more rooms, so more let's rooms. north is our only option. Well, you know, we could retcon it, I guess. Retcon? Yeah, because we didn't, we were like, we would have gone <laughs> south. Maybe, <you> know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, if we had known the stairs were to go up one floor, right? Sure, but then the everything stairs, we right? just did, didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but we'd just be leaving then, right? 
Why don't we just go talk to the guy and say, hmm, we're bored now, take us to Sansory. <laughs> yeah, I know. I say we go to the north, and then we can do that with whoever finds us. Or we can continue exploring. Wait a minute. Uh, Titus, make a perception check. Uh, 17. But nothing. Because I am <laughs> <laughs> You've kind of like adjusted to the just subtle natural sounds of blowing wind being this high up in a cloud castle. Um, and at first it just sounds like white noise, uh, but you're pretty sure you hear like an, an alarm sound squawking, like bird-like noises coming from out in the garden. That's not good. Uh, I hear birds yelling at us. Yeah. At, at they us? are either doing something. They're yelling at us? Well, not at us, but they're yelling. Okay. So like perhaps okay. they've discovered that we're gone, uh, or they're doing something that requires some physical exertion. Okay, we should just start running then. Does anyone speak to right? Sure. Okay. Wait, what? What, no? Where are we going? If they know we're gone, we might as well just speed it up, right? Well, then why don't we go south and just, uh, just say, you know, hey, Take us to Sansory. So we don't want to try to find the conch on our own or anything. I mean, we've okay. already, unless it's in the room to the left. All right, room to the left, let's go. I mean, haven't we established that she can probably kick our asses? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Pretty. She's got a level seven spell book. I don't even know level seven spells. Wait, if she doesn't have the book, can she still do spells? Oh, yeah. She's learned all those spells. Uh, uh, what was the left again? Sorry? Uh, it was a room. A room. A room. There may or may not be doors in it. There may or may not be stuff right, in it. The room to the left may be Sansory. Right? All right, what the hell? Let's All open right, it. I'll listen to that door in the room to the left. I mean, it would make sense if she is a wizard to have her room right next to the damn library. So. Yeah, there. that's true. And of course, right. her kids right across from her kids. Hear she has children? No. If those are her kids. Uh, you don't hear anything in the room, but as you get close to the north door, you hear uh, the squawking noises yeah, that the Titus mentioned. Mm. Um, Into the room to the west. Mm -hmm. No, you, you hear this from the exterior to the north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, as you all head into the room to the west, is that what you're doing? Yes. Yeah. Um, it sounds like the squawking, at least most of it, um, fades out, like as if oh. it went away. Interesting. Um, you open the room to the west. I feel like the, the birds will be searching for us now. Do you want more doors? And find a room with no more doors. Um, but it does appear to be a giant sized nursery uh, containing two crib, large cribs and uh, wall mounted shelves and very large stuffed toys perched precariously atop them. Is there like a diorama hanging above the cribs? Yeah. Is, is there a conch? Uh, <laughs> the diorama? There's not. Oh. Damn it. That's right. Okay, I heard the oh, birds no, disappear. Yeah. So we're on the, the door. Door. Why don't we all gone? disguise ourselves as something on the diorama, just hang there, stay <laughs> still, and wait till evening. Oh, <laughs> you just look like a turtle, so like, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Hold still. To kill the babies. All right, let's try what? to go. Down. I'll get up on the shelf and look like a doll. <laughs> yeah, we can all be toys. They pick you up, try and take the head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, don't write was nothing, right? Uh, right, to like, like, like a playroom. Yeah. Playroom, forget it. To the north! To the, to the north! To the north. I mean, if we're gonna just go right out, then why don't we go back the way we came? And well, just I, know, I just wanna see what's to the north, because I can't tell on this thing. So, okay. There's a pool and a bunch of angry birds. They left, they, they left. Angry birds. Wait, the angry birds left? They left. So the sound went away. Uh, as you approach the door again, Titus, um, you listen for a moment. You don't hear anything. Okay. Roll a perception check that you are about to pull your ear away. Roll the nine. Nine plus a zero. zero. <laughs> Not perceptive. Uh, zero. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. You hear nothing. So. Titus, do you hear anything? Nope. I don't know if we can trust All you. Right. How good are you? I have the ears of a. Okay. Uh, you doing something. the usual where Artie opens the door here? Yeah, sure. it's been working for us so far. I have All right. the ears of a cow. Artie, uh, <laughs> go up. Now, I'll assume since you've been doing it so much that you're just making your sleight of hands check. Sure. Type. Yeah, he's so good. I'm so smooth. Guide, you're guided 
slightful hands. Great yeah, uh, go, yep, go for it. Terrible at windows. Is there someone nearby? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh, I, the I just, I any door, you know. 15 plus 2, 17. Alright. Strong. It's a pretty quiet, it's a pretty quiet affair. Um, and you open up to a beautiful luxury rooftop garden. Oh my god, let's just stay here. Ooh, I know, I wish we could. Yeah, we have to get this we'll in just our kick tower. it out here and yeah. wait, and when they find us and get angry, we're like, we got bored. There was nothing down there. I mean, the only problem is, is when they find us, it, it, there's no guarantee that they're just going to take us to the queen or the countess. They might just put us back in that room again. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, to do it all over again. Or in a room with that. Are there fish in the pool? Wow. Whoa. That is pretty. Pumpkins. Pumpkin patch. Oh, big, big eyeglasses. How cute. Eyeglasses. Speaking of big eyeglasses um, as uh, Artie pulls the door wide, Flint and Sifa you both see a single Aarakocra standing in front of the northern spyglass and it's quiet just as Titus told you but a moment later there's like what appears to be a response cry of a Does it, does it and it's kind, of, it's kind of like looking out around oh. the horizon he's just calling out oh, someone else is coming Are we going to go out or are we going to go back? I don't know, but it depends what's coming, right? Can see if anything is to the right? Is this just the one big open yeah. porch? This is, yeah. To the top? Where are the ground floor? Are you going outside? Well, I guess. Yeah, let's go outside. But, like, how high is the, the wall to the next, um... Above you? Yeah. Are you talking about run all the way up to the ramparts where our airship's parked? I'm going to get Artie to carry me. <laughs> <laughs> Like a little baby. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm Whitney Houston. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Flint Bjorn soon and just uh, <laughs> carry you around. Yeah, that sounds adorable. <laughs> Let's see. You all know the oh, way yeah. of the land well enough. You're over here. So probably yeah. ships above. Well, it's probably about like. 100. Yeah, I was gonna say like at least 70 feet. But oh, with the sure. added wall up over. That's probably another 20-ish feet. How far feet. can you run? 110? Yeah. Actually, yeah, if it's one level up, so yeah, it'd be 40 feet plus whatever thickness of roof plus the height of the ramparts, so yeah, probably. I'd say it's all, like, give or take about 100 feet. But okay. you can do it for... 110 if he dashes. But then there's no way for us to get up there. Well, well it's not like you. he's stopping his turn, it's just that, like, you know, if we were in initiative, he, like, right? That's as far as he can go. Well, yeah, because it's, it's what he can do in his turn. So whatever, so that means he can do it for six seconds, and then he starts to fall. Um, so that he can do it, basically. What are you trying to do? Yeah, it's only you within the span of a turn. And, well, okay. Exactly. And yeah, I, would, I would assume we would we would remember when we landed there whether or not there were Aerocoker, I'm assuming there were Aerocoker up at the top also as lookouts? Yes. Okay. So yeah, he would basically run up to the top right into more birds. Yeah. So if we're going we're gonna to alert them. Anything around to the right? Uh, this grass is probably very high. Everyone's right? going out into the grass? Yeah. Are we? Why not? Right. Why? I am. Why don't we just turn around and go, like, just head to where we're supposed to act like we're supposed to be here and just walk down to the park. That's what we're doing. Right. We're acting like we're supposed to be here just walking out. But this isn't the way we're supposed to go, though. Uh, All right. Do you want to just walk through that room? Uh, if everyone's going out, there. Where are we uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to gain out here. Yeah. Oh. Is oh. this true. black? Thing, that's just the end of the. Uh, no, so. so yeah, we don't know about what's More accurately, there. like as you look around, there is the wall sort of juts out around there um, to the east. Oh, oh but no doors. Room, yeah. No doors. Mm. Okie dokie. I don't see any benefits out can, here unless. I guess we, we can, can go into the playpen and see what's in there. Unless we can threaten okay. someone to tell us where the conch is. Who knows? Save us some yeah. time. Maybe the, there's a um, door in there to like somewhere else. Titus, um, I'd like you to make a will save. A will save? Yeah. How do I, I, uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, that's getting going poorly. Old How do I just open the D20 plus yeah, yeah. four? What happened to you? Oh! I rolled a two. Oh. As you um, scan past the sort of jutted outcropping here, you immediately turn past the door now as you sort of step beyond it and notice the fountain. And it kind of strikes a chord in you. Uh, it's a fountain with a spout shaped like 
a bound dragon in chains oh, spitting water forth in a 40 foot diameter really and sad. your encounter with Felgalos being chained up by the Countess when you were last here comes to mind. No doubt you also saw the stuffed hanging chained dragon which was once living in the museum as well. Yeah. As someone who makes a lot of friends and can probably call himself friend of dragon and being a paladin, you know, it's probably probably rubbing you a little bit the wrong way. This is a real dragon. Just saying. No, no, no. Uh, just Jesus, just depicting <laughs> another bound, chained dragon in servitude uh, creating the water in her fountain here. Yeah, I don't like that. Titus is irrationally raged. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Saying? Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? Well, I mean, play into it however you want, but I just think as, you know, you're... you're this would really piss Titus off. Your persona would be fairly upset by this. This is, very, this is a very evil... What do I see around me? This is, an is there anybody else? Uh, you see what the rest of your friends saw, which is a lone Eric Kokra kind of manning um, the spyglass to the north here. Does not appear to have noticed you all at the moment. Seems very intent on something happening uh, north on, on the map here. Okay. I would like to take out my trident. Oh. I walk towards that Eric Kokra <laughs> until I'm in range and then what? throw my what? trident. I see him doing Why? that and then I tackle him. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would know I can't shut the door. You know that your trident only has um, a decent range of about twenty feet. You could throw it up to sixty though with disadvantage. So in this state of mind, are you imagining that you go up for the shore shot, or you just fucking wildly throw it really far. Sure shot. Oh, I'm gonna definitely try and tackle him before he's cold he gets blooded. to. Uh, okay. Well, let's. We'll 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 talk about things that are happening along this path. I'm just gonna click it for now. Um, Titus, uh, you just hear like you. Some of you probably hear like the noise of uh, his trident being unlatched or taken out, and you just see him start with like this resolute march walking northwest uh, towards the fountain I didn't, I didn't even think the torture bothered him yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm kind of shocked about that I mean he let it go on for like 8 hours <laughs> before Flint you see this happening like, what, are you, what, are you trying, what are you trying to do I'm just going to go and like try and grapple him Okay. last time I tried to stop someone from doing something stupid it <laughs> what is going on you right can take now this one. Um, Flint, you can make a... It's, it's For me, it's a bit of a reaction. Uh, so I would just give it, like, a dexterity check. Oh, God, dexterity. Looking for a DC 15 or higher. Ooh. 15 18 or higher. plus, uh, 3. So. Okay. So, Titus, you get to the fountain edge with your titan in hand, like, just slowly drawing it back. And the next thing you know, you just hear this... It's like Flint is like clearly like jumped up <laughs> off the ground and grabbed onto your arm holding the trident. Why are you stopping me? This bird did nothing to it. Like, what are you doing, buddy? This bird belongs to this castle. <laughs> wow. Torturers. Wow. Of fiends. <laughs> Says the man who made deals with the <laughs> evil countess. I want to throw my trident. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wait, was the dwarf hanging off of it? Oh, yeah. I'm angry, right. right? I'm supposed to be enraged? Yeah, I'm I love it. I'm not going to let go of this, this trial. Right. It rolls. Yeah. Uh, with disadvantage. No. Uh, so roll basically two d20s. Try you try to uh, throw your trial. No. Five. Oof. That's right. Uh, so you rolled a five and five is the best one? Oh, no. I rolled a ten then. Oh, okay. So oh, I, yes. What about disadvantage? Disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Flint yeah. and Titus. This is just a hit. Flint and Titus. Both so of you. Both of you make a strength check. We're both quite strong. Get very awkward. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, wait. I'm gonna use a luck point. Wow. <laughs> That's what you use it for. Uh, uh, fourteen. Just straight strength. Uh. Yeah. Nine, 19. Oh, I also ruled 14. Plus. Is strength not the same? Dude, Our strength uh, is the same. Plus 19 and 19. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I don't know what you all are doing, but you We're see basically like... Titus goes to throw the javelin. Flint is hanging on like a fucking Cirque du Soleil performer and manages to grab it and like send it into the ground. But Titus immediately picks it back up again with the dwarf still attached and winds up and throws again with disadvantage. I'm going to lay to the wizard and say, I think the power oh, a little unstable. I rolled a 17 and then a 2. 2? Okay. Give me one more round of opposed strength checks as the little dwarf stays latched on. Uh, 19 again. Oh, 16! <laughs> oh, so I you, rolled a 16. You go to throw this time Wait, wait, wait but 16 plus... A T beats me. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> you swing once around like you're doing fucking shot put, <laughs> and in this moment, send the dwarf splashing into the fountain <laughs> and loose the javelin. Oh, okay. wow. There's a 2. Plus 10 to hit. Plus 10 is a 12. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is this going what a plus <laughs> Your javelin goes like wobbling wildly free. And it's clear as day to you, Flint, as you like look up soaking wet in the fountain. You just managed to catch the glint of this fairly beautiful trident, mm-hmm. catch the light. It's not going to hit. Oh. But then you hear like a distant squawk to the north, and the air cocra moves back in just in the nick of time to be struck by the trident <laughs> as it reaches for the spyglass. Your 12 just hits. Ah, good lord. Uh, roll damage. <laughs> Damn it, Titus! You're an idiot. Right. This is so much more fun. One D8. Plus Next, he's gonna oh. go in there and kill the children. I rolled a one on my D8. Is that uh, okay, hold on. So you're gonna kill the children? Actually, this is probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Diplomacy, he says, and then. Oh, my fault. My family got enraged. Your trident pierces through the back, just under the shoulder of the air cochra. It just lets out like. A I want to summon so my loud. trident back to me with that thing attached, with the bird thing attached. Oh shit! Uh, I have to remember how that works. Hold on. I do I think remember. I rolled a strength. Yeah. So recall as a bonus action, you can recall the thrown trident. Uh, it flows back to you. So to bring the target with you. Oh, it's, I'm gonna- Beat Titus down. So you've only had this work once before, uh-huh. uh, and you felt like your connection to Torm was sort of like the binding link in unlocking the full power of this thing. Uh, so you've really never done this with like continued success. If you're trying to bring it back now, I would need to hear whatever the fuck you're telling Torm to make this magic happen. Okay. Or not. I would like, I want to be, may the righteous might of Twarm guide my hand. Hudicha! Hudicha! Okay. Just become a smite? <laughs> Alright. Let up. justice be served! <laughs> you, uh, you, you dig deep, dig deep, reaching through this, these sort of celestial tethers that bind you with this tread. Uh, make a uh, charisma check for me. Charisma? Six plus three, nine. Uh, so you almost see the air croaker move, but before you know it, the, the power of the trident kind of dissipates under your command. And it does recall, but not with the bird attached. Okay, then I want to uh, the bird, if I can. Everyone else should probably just roll initiative. <laughs> Quick. I guess this poor little bird. You want the raw number or the total? Um, uh, just give me the total for now. If you need the bonus, let me know. Uh, Cethla? I left my bonus one off. I have five for bonus. It is plus five, yeah. 24. Okay. Uh, Artie? That's 14. Wait, did our initiative bonus go up? Uh, Artie, your bonus should be plus four. Yeah. Flint, yours should be plus three. 13, then. 13. Isn't it, isn't it, it's related to dexterity, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's, I think it's also... It's just straight dexterity. That's dexterity, okay. Unless you have class features. Uh, that makes sense. Sam? Uh, 15 straight. Total. Fifteen total. Yeah, fifteen total. Okay. Uh, Titus. Oh. Ten. That's with your plus one. Yes. I'm so gonna tackle Titus and start punching him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The bird squawked and then what happened? Now? Uh, the bird squawked really loudly, and then we rolled initiative. How much damage did you do to it? I think only seven damage. I rolled a one and it's plus six. 
I'm gonna kill Titus. You don't necessarily have to kill them. My intention well, was to be interrogate more. the bird. Oh, but, but we sure can kill him. Sure, we didn't go about that the right was. way. I was not. I was gonna try and him and then bring him to me and then we would take you. We could ask him. Target out. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's not how you interrogate someone throw a trident at him. Well, that brings him to me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let him know you mean business. Uh, all I know is Feldalos was being tortured for like eight hours and then nothing. <laughs> but the and statue. then he's a statue. <laughs> it's a very realistic lots statue. Of, lots of press feelings. Yeah, statue. Really, I'm really, gonna kill this bird. It really triggered something. <laughs> That's what I was told. He listened, yeah, listened, like, yeah. he listened well, to his heart. Told, uh, I was told uh, I was triggered. Yeah. I feel that so, way about yeah, everyone here. Yeah, but you could have let your rage out on something else. On what, the grass? The statue. So, uh, Seethla, you, yeah, the statue you hear sense. the squawk, you see all this happening. The door is the ajar. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, look at those pumpkins. Those are beautiful. Wait, the door is ajar? I want to hide. Yep. Yeah, the door's open. I didn't. Oh, I couldn't close door it myself. A jar. Uh, yeah, do you want to? Yeah, insanity. Do you want to do a double move? Sure. Okay. You won't be able to take any actions other than okay, like a, a reaction. Or a I'm gonna take out Black Razor and Am slash well it, headed? Titus. Yes. Great. Wait, what? You go into the very thick, large Does pumpkin that patch. As the forest. <laughs> so uh, no. no. I'm afraid not. And throw them in the water. Giant garden is gone. Sam, what are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> you want to hold? Uh, you yeah, I'm just going to hold here. I, I, okay, I'm just to refresh you that, you can hold as long as you want without any specificity, no, uh, but you'll drop in the turn I'll keep my initiative. I'll just, I'm just, there's nothing. Okay, just, skip, just skipping? Yeah. Uh, Artie. No, I'm so confused. Hmm? Titus apparently saw a chain statue. What is going on, Titus? And attack the bird for oh, no God. reason. Artie, what are you doing? I'm gonna go run in front of Titus. Oh, what's your fucking move speed? So 55. 55? Oh, wow. With a dash, I, can, I think I can get there. 110 feet. You could get there with a single move. Oh. Oh wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly <laughs> walk, walk over in front of Titus. Not slowly. <laughs> well, yeah. Slowly. Turtle slowly. It'll be. <laughs> get okay. the bird. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> roll a perception check. For you me. were my not attacking buddy. Perception? Yeah. You're uh, very wise, though. I, uh, yeah, but not that wise. Five. Oh, five? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're too busy, like, just yeah. trying to get there, look at your friends. My eyes are actually closed. I don't know what's going on. You don't really take much in, uh, other than you just sort of thrust yourself into the situation. I'm very there. confused on what's going on, so yeah. I have no idea what's going on. What are you doing? Get it, get that first. Um, yeah, the backpack's not saying. Uh, the rest of you uh, notice that it begins to slightly drizzle and the clouds oh. begin to darken. Uh, oh. And there's flashing yeah. lights turning this into a very uh, northwestern like dark gray mm. mid afternoon. Go <laughs> back to today. With that drizzle. Drizzled hard. Um, Did we say there was something else coming, we think? Well, you never know with they all that noise. They were looking out and squawking. We're looking out and squawking. I mean, there's a lot of these birds. Well, Artie, now. you're just there. Now, that's only your move action. Are you holding? Well, I'm just going to say the title. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And calm down. Then I start to get the bird. All right. Uh, Flint, what are you doing? I'm going to try and uh, pick Titus up. Actually, Flint, you were in the fucking fountain. <laughs> um, I'm going to get, get out of the fountain and try and throw Titus into the fountain. Okay. It's like uh, a beer commercial. Was he prone? In so, the uh, you're. What do you? What do you say? Like, imagine you're. Oh. Ooh. Imagine you're like yelling something at Titus. Is it rain? I'm, I'm just like, God damn it! <laughs> Titus, you you look back over to the dwarf, soaking wet in the fountain, just standing in front of the chain dragon statuesque looking thing, uh, and as the raindrops hit, you noticed. Uh, that the water surface like just disturbs, but it starts to like grow and form and rising above behind the dwarf mm-hmm. is this liquid creature. Oh god, it's a goddamn water elemental. Why the fuck is there a water elemental out here? <laughs> Thanks, Titus. <laughs> <laughs> this is more interesting. I will never let you live this down for the rest oh, of our god. short, short lives. Uh, yeah, you see 
this thing made of water, rising slowly, menacingly, just <laughs> above the dwarf. I think it's gonna kill you. Okay. Um, as you sort of finish your tirade at Titus, you see Titus's like expression change quite significantly, right. and you start to feel that the darkness behind you is not just from the storm clouds, but from something else, you can just feel it down the back of your neck. Okay. So, like, I sense, like, there's something ominous behind me. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still very pissed at Titus, but I will, I will draw a black razor and then just kind of, like, black turn around the and attack. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll telepathically go be like, to black razor, let's, let's wreck some shit. Here we go. Okay, okay. Uh, and let me just refresh myself. Black razor, yes, you're two handed, yeah? Uh, roll to hit. And just give me the raw, raw number. 13. Uh, you slash at the water elemental, uh, and connect. You just wanted the raw number. Black razor, uh, cuts into the creature. Roll damage. 2d6, right? You can hurt a water thing? Uh, eleven plus six. Uh, what are the, so what? Just give me the two dice, actually. Sorry. Five and six. Five and six. Perfect. Uh, you slice a a just layer of water off the side of the thing as it's still forming, and it kind of like shudders and shakes and diminishes slightly in size, um, but still grows. I've got a second attack, so I will. Okay. Swing it again. You bring the black razor back up again. Raw twenty. Oh wait, I can re-roll those. Why? Wait, hold on. What are you doing? I roll. I rolled a one. Boom. Oh, I can re-roll it. Uh, yeah, I got a luck points still. How many? Are, are you users? using a luck point? Yeah. Okay. Another. You gotta you specify that. So it's your last luck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Okay, you roll seventeen. Swing and cut through more of the water creature. Roll damage. Uh, seven. Uh, five and a, seven total? Yeah, five and a two. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you cut through <laughs> this thing, and it's whoa, oh, diminishing its size more and more yeah, as you continue to slice. Imagine the blood is blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. You are definitely engaged in melee now. Yeah. Holding here? Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna move. Okay. Alright. So epic, you're in the fountain fighting. Uh, this is all your fault! <laughs> this is true. And now we're yeah, officially in deep shit in this castle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are the bad, we are the people that have killed the guard. That's true. He's not dead. Well. We are the people that attacked, attacked the guard. Yeah. Unprovoked. He made me angry. He didn't make you angry, the, the, the fountain made you angry. His existence near the fountain made me angry. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this would have been so much better if one of us was being tortured for eight hours. Okay. Um, the bird creature, <laughs> like clutching at its side, um, is screeching and squawking quite loudly. It, it's, it leans its weight against the spyglass and kind of spins it away to the west of itself. Um, and let me just pull this up. Yeah. Uh, you see itself kind of reaches down out of the grass and picks up its own javelin, which it tries to hurl back towards you, which is now blocked by Artie. Oh, um, oh he's protection. Okay. Uh, I don't know how that works. Anymore. I just remember. Do you still have protection? I have my shield. You have Sentinel and Shield Master, right? advantage on an attacking enemy within five feet of an ally. Was that related to your? No. Which one's that? That enemy's not within five feet of you, though. No, no, no. He is the ally already has within, within five feet of me, so I can oppose this man. What ability now? Protection. I thought you swapped to Sentinel and Shieldmaster. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Am I wrong? Part of it. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I have Shieldmaster. Trade stuff around. Oh, um, this is just a paladin ability, I believe. Or from oh. choosing shield as my 
fighting thing. I don't know. I can't remember exactly where this came from. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. I hate to interrupt the flow. Well, I just remember you had other things like that before, but I think you changed some of your feet around mm -hmm. at one point. I don't think that's a feet, though. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think I really need it. It's my fighting style. And protection is my fighting style. Oh, fighting style. Let's see. Okay, I thought you had defense. Nope. I switched that to protection. Okay, my bad. Let me update that real quick. Fighting style. What do you get two? Was there something like I get two now? Once we're at this level, I get to choose. No. A second? You get no other uh, <laughs> fighting <neat>. styles. <laughs> nice turn. You know what? I wanted to hit you. Okay. So that uh, Titus knows that that's his fault too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to be an example. Titus um, like vaults off the the ledge of the fountain with his shield out and kind of like pushes you back and you, you basically swap places. He pushes you into the fountain. Oh, why are these flint? <laughs> Go. Um, and with your shield out, this guy. That distance with the javelin, you might have already had disadvantage. Yeah. I mean, I also had the flex missiles, so I would have been. But you know, it's nice. Like, <laughs> it's nice that he uses his yeah, reaction. Nice. His reaction on this. Thank you very much. Guaranteed, was probably wasn't gonna hit at you anyways. I see someone trying to hurt my friend. That is very valid. Oh my god. Yeah. Does this mean you're not enraged anymore? <laughs> uh, the he just like cries out mid throw and it almost goes like straight up like someone's doing like baseball practice uh, and just straight back down about 15 feet in front of him into the ground like right about here have, um, you, ever seen, have you ever seen a lane throw a ball before? <laughs> it's probably it actually goes behind her it's, uh, it could be kind of like that uh, one second uh, so you see, after uh, your attention is turned from this, uh, Flint, the, the water elemental is kind of rearing up uh, and almost forming like these massive water hammer-like hands. Um, and it slams down at you. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> You see it splash down at you, like causing a huge disturbance in the pond. Uh, so much so that it almost creates uh, a bit of a buffer between itself and you. If you wanted to disengage, you could do so freely right now. All right, yeah, I'm gonna disengage then. Okay, uh, it's not much, but you're able, to, you're able to back up to the inner edge of the fountain wall yeah. as this thing's kind of discombobulated. Um, you see that it was trying to rear up for like this multi-attack thing, um, okay. but the disturbance causes it to only get the one off. Titus, what are you doing? I would like to throw my trident at this thing. At the creature behind you? Indeed. Okay, after ripping your titan back from the air cocra, you turn upon the water elemental, and what's the raw d20? 10. 10. Your trident of Torm goes flying at the thing, and you hit plus 10, holy shit. Uh, roll damage. Four. Okay. Plus six. Ten. One second. I think it's plus six though. Uh, yeah. Uh, you do ten points of damage with your javelin. And I will recall it and toss it again. Okay. Uh, you do so. Throw oh. it in here. I don't roll the three this time. Okay, that misses and just goes whizzing by. The displaced water is just nowhere to even be hit right now. And holding here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy is not really here anymore. Sifla, you are in the pumpkin patch. Um, you just still hear like the squeaking squawks of the, the bird person near the telescope. 
and you've spotted the attention uh, on the fountain now. You've sure enough seen this creature rising up out of the fountain. Okay. Um, I guess I could go up to the bush towards the bird. Okay. Can I do that in one move? Uh, you can do about <laughs> 35 feet. So you can get so up to that bush, yeah? Can I get a view of the bird to throw my trident? Yeah, like if you went into that bush? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot how many people have tried this. I'll throw my trident. Well, trident <laughs> javelin enthusiasts. That's the bird. Uh, okay. You pull wave forth. Uh, what's the raw? Six. Six. Mm, plus nine. Uh, plus 14. Uh, it's a hit. Woo! Roll um, damage. And I threw it, so it's 1d6 plus seven. Correct. Uh, nine total. Nine total? Yeah. What was the raw roll? Uh, okay. Oh, it's got bloody. Uh, you send your talkative <laughs> Japanese goes like flying through and it, oh, look at the it little blood. punches oh, through the other side. Oh, God, yeah. And oh, you it. see as if someone just kicked a snowman. Oh, my. Like bits of ice and snow oh. come out where the inside wow. and guts would be. Oh, that's disturbing. That bird is uh, snow? And it just falls down into a pile of ice and snow chunks. Uh, oh, so you were right. It's a, uh, what's it called? So does that mean it's okay to kill it? It's like a... That's less ground. Do they have feelings? As thunder cracks and gains your attention to the north, you see the light from the distant lightning bolt has illuminated this large, massive cloud form in the vast, vast distance beyond some unmeasurable distance, but clearly approaching. You wouldn't be able to fly through that anyway. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I want to stay in this bush. You could go look through the telescope thing. (laughs) Did he let us know that it was coming, or...? Um, no, she's can you hear oh, me from there? No, probably not. Can you uh, yeah, see no, it? Close. I mean, if you, if you shouted, I mean, there's a storm going on, but if you shouted, you could certainly... Let's go. Show. There's a Show. big mass of something. I, I don't know that I know what it is, but some, something's coming and it's causing the storm, and I don't think we should, like, hang around out here. Maybe we should get inside. Well, so oh, we have a water Alaska Or Amorith? How's that water huh? element doing? I hope not. Oh, God, the dragon? <laughs> Anyway, I mean, it? after I've seen all these statues, I feel like that's fair. Maybe we should just let them have it at it. Oh, we can't let it ever have the conch, though. We need no, they can have everything else. The dragon doesn't need the conch. He's already a visor. That's true. That's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, but if Imrith if if kills Stansuri, I'll have to spell That's all I can do, right? <laughs> uh, you moved. You threw. You technically have a multi-attack, I think. kill Stansuri, I don't know if this uh, asshole's going to be around it. I guess I have to go get my trident. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, we come back. Knows? I hope so. That would be crazy to have to run after it all the time. Um, you feel, you feel deep down in your guts uh, that if you were to let out uh, a similar pirate call, you'd be able to recall wave. Wait, you gotta do it. Yo ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> it almost, Yar. it almost like feeding on the water and, and ripping back through the air, trailing Wait, do beads I, do I of hear liquid. That? Yeah. I wince. <laughs> <laughs> trailing, trailing water behind it as if it's yeah. been like just dipped in the Come sea. On, wave. wave comes <laughs> sailing back into your hand, ripping through the leaves of the bushes. Got it back. The sequel the, the essentially doing, my people. <laughs> she's essentially doing pirate blackface. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a that problem. Yeah. Right. I, I'm making note to give her the book I found to read. Okay, I got my trident back. Can I take it and throw, can I throw it to the water? Yeah, it'd be with, it, at this distance it would be with disadvantage, but yeah, you can. Um, I mean, is there any kind of help because it's water and my trident's in the water? I don't know, is there a thing here? You don't know. Alright, well, I'll try. I think this is perfect. The spear goes woohoo! <laughs> See, it goes you! I rolled a nine. It's like the goofy, yeah. this goofy voice in this, uh... Advantage? Uh, oh, I have to roll again. Yeah, roll again. Why does it end? Well, Distance and the weapon. Nine. So nine. So nine right. plus nine is probably like... <laughs> nine plus down. 
Nine plus ten's a nineteen. Woo! Uh, you still manage to throw a wave at more water, which seems to you can feel inside his his its <laughs> delight. Uh, roll damage. Another d six. Just give me the raw d6. Raw okay, d6. Right. Yeah. Max, max damage. Max damage. Oh. For a total of 13 as <laughs> wave just <laughs> like oh it just goes plunging through That's out the other it. side of the water you elemental. Have to do this in so long. Yeah. It's like it's almost like, you know, someone who loves the ocean going to a water park. Oh. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's not the same. It's not the same, but it's nice. Yeah. Good time is I'll call him back. Okay. Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> there he comes ripping back <laughs> through the water creature. And a bottle of rum. Uh, Sam, still behind oh, the open the door, the only one remaining Did in the corridor. Um, you hear behind you uh, a large mm-hmm. booming voice. Uh, a little bit slower and uh, a little bit more slurred than previous. Uh, <laughs> what? Quickly. You speak giant, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's speaking in giant. Yeah. Quickly, children. Enough playing, let's get to the nursery. There's no dog. <laughs> so something loosely translated. There's no dog. <laughs> uh, which we heard open? it. Uh, the door in front of you is open. The door behind you is closed, but you can hear this voice well, I mean, booming. Oh, uh, uh, this one would open north towards you into the okay. hallway. Uh, so be, you would go that way. If I come out of it and then try and close the door... So that, if you went this... Oh, you're talking about this door? Yeah. This one was opened out into the courtyard. Yeah. Yeah. So if you went out and then closed it... Would that consume my action? Um... Probably. Probably, yeah. Oh. I'd hate to say, but Might yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll just close the door. Okay. Uh, you you doing this all by broom back with your new saddle? Uh, probably, yeah. Alright, you fly out, close the door, and you think it's probably a good choice of, of, uh, or good use of your time, because as you do so, almost like in perfect unison, you hear the other door latch turning. Um, good move. Now, as you close that door, make a perception check for me. Sure. You, you're smart. You're too smart for your own good. You gotta fill around memories. Uh, you immediately clock the nursery window to the southwest, knowing that that's the room that they were going into. Do with that what you will. Um, you can still move and sort of talk briefly if you wanted to. Uh, like, what direction was that uh, the oncoming mass we saw? Uh, you don't know anything about that, really. I didn't hear anything? No. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of look at the it's water elemental and pull out Whelm and give it a couple of spins. Alright, uh, Artie. It's habitat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the water is so warm! Do water elementals have feelings? Oh, fuck like it. I'm gonna hop Punch into the it. fountain and there just start uppercutting this thing's stomach. <laughs> attack, attack! It's like you're just flashing oh, me Oh, it's got a sad water. face. Uh, I'll give it a sadder oh, face. Oh, it is. Oh, that's not a sad face. Yeah, it's like a ghost wave. Maybe it's that's saying, uh, kill me. His belly button uh, and his nipple. You go vaulting into the fountain just beneath the uh, spitting chain dragon. And, alright, you are... Sorry, what was the first action you are doing? Uh... Double uppercuts into the stomach to two two attacks. Pop up pop. Pop. With, with your quarter staff or no, just fists, uh, magical fists. Oh. A fury, magical fists. I could punch ghosts. I don't know if I have your unarmed on here. Oh, I got it. It's it is. Same, um, it's plus D eight, right? It's a plus seven attack and one D six plus four. Oh, it'd be a plus eight by now, right? Oh, what? Oh, you yeah, think you might be right? Yeah. Is that yeah. The wave screaming? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right, it's my dexterity, so it's plus yeah. eight. Okay. Alright, uh, so what to hit? Yo, uh, what are we wrong? Uh, the first one, seven, 27. Okay. Uh, and the second one would be 22. Uh, what's the, sorry, what's this, the raw 20? Oh, uh, 14 for the second one. I need it to pipe in to the tell if it hits plus sound effects fun. Ah, oh, there, there you go. Uh, both definitely hit. Uh, and what's the the damage? D6 plus 4 for each. Okay, I'm just going to use your claws. Cause yeah, it's kind of hard yeah, to the claws. The claws are pretty much my own. Perfect. Yeah. 
Your unarm goes up to 1d8. Alright, uh. Level one. Level one. Uh, Alright, so roll both d6s for both hits yeah, and just five. give me the raw sixes. Five. Uh huh. Six. Wow! That's a good roll. You are just like punching and slashing water, and this thing is like quickly, quickly shrinking in size. It's almost becoming this tall, slender water creature. Um, and uh, yep. flurry of blows. Oh, okay. Hold on, two more. That's just uh, one key point. One key point. I'm down to eight. Uh, the first one is seventeen. Okay. That's the raw or the. That's the raw. Okay. Oh, that definitely hits. That second one is nine. Oh. Nine. nine. Also hits. Hey. Damn. Two more D6. Uh, raw three. Mm -hmm. And a raw five. Wow. Punching the shit out of this water thing. Oh, we got so much Now, uh, uh, it is also, your flurry of blows <laughs> is enhanced, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, the open hand technique. So, oh. it needs to make a dexterity save or be knocked prone. Wow. So you're just like this. Uh, so you notice as you're punching and shaping the water into this tiny slender thing <coughs> that your enhanced technique has no effect on the water creature. It, you try to almost knock it prone and it just sort of like moves and reshapes yeah, back up again. Water. Yeah. 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 Uh, Flint. Flint. All right. as, if, as if for you, right? Crazy Monk? Yeah. That's awesome. That was so cool. I'm going to... Uh, Move around Artie and, and slash at the, this water creature again. Okay. Uh, nine. Nine. Plus ten. Definitely hits. Uh, Just gonna roll both swings, or oh yeah. That's easier. I think. Uh, Seventeen. So right. That will definitely hit. So roll four d six. Uh, the first set is seven. Uh, and. Oh. Jesus. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. I can re-roll ones because of my uh, on damage rolls. That's right. Really? Yeah. That's fancy. Man. Uh, so seven and seven. Okay. Wow. Uh, Fighters are tough. Oh, look at that. So as you slash oh, and slash go. and slash, like you come up and bring Black Razor up, and it almost seems like the water is trying to cling to the surface. Yeah. Uh, and there's just this like feeling inside of you. <laughs> uh, but the creature becomes one with the fountain again. Fantastic. And all is quiet on the rooftop save for distant squawks. Some coming off in beyond the very thick mass of clouds on the horizon to the north. And some sound like they're coming from some of the other rooftop gardens or, or watch posts above and below you. Um, Can I go to one of the spike glasses and look off in the direction of the far off? Yeah. You move past the pile of slush, uh, or maybe float above it. And put my hammer back away. Okay. <laughs> um, These two. What was the thought that helps? Took care as of you <laughs> release your grip on the hammer, Whelm kind of like mumbles in your mind. There's a lot of giants here. <laughs> Why don't you grab me again, uh, Santa Mara? It might cover that hole up. <laughs> I felt you feel that book earlier. <laughs> Sand too's got a real nice book, nicer than yours, doesn't she? You kill her. And that, take that book. That hammer's sassy. Or the hammer book. <laughs> really? It's almost like you think you say that, but you hear. You really want that book. <laughs> Why don't we procure that book? Sounds like they might have their hands full. And he's worried about your sword. Hello. <laughs> well, we do need to get the shell too. Let me see what that hands full of what. Let's see. If as you Look as you as glass. you shake. Whelm out of your mind, uh, your vision sort of refocuses through the spyglass. Uh, make a perception check. I was afraid this was going to happen with a hammer and pull the place full of giants. Proceed! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I think it's nine total. Uh, it's a seven plus two. The cloud formations right now have gotten particularly bad. Um, and there haven't really been any cracks of lightning similar to the one that allowed Titus to clock what you thought was some strange floating formation. Uh, but just then, another <laughs> lightning bolt cracks, 
Uh, just from remembering the last time I tried to perceive a far off storm and had really shitty perception rolls, does this seem like the similar storm? Yeah. Oh no! Shit. That's similar. Similar. Oh, similar. That's a... Um, I had the same bad luck seeing it. <laughs> Is that the drag that happened last time, though, right? That was what it was can last I, time. Can I check the fountain and see if there's anything like in it that would like hold this water elemental, or that's not? Normally, you found any? Um, See all the penny dollar bottles? Mm-hmm. The giant pennies. Yeah. yeah, giant pennies might be worth something. Two cents. <laughs> it's like, uh, I mean, other than being a very, right. very well crafted fountain, right. uh, nope, it just seems that this the creature best. made its home here. Um, um, can I also go up to this spyglass and look with sand? Yeah. To perceive what you, you, I you thought see I perceived. sand kind of like breathing a bit heavily. What is it? Uh, as you step into the puddle of uh, Jaka. <laughs> That's gross. Uh, now yeah. the lightning bolt did just crack probably about a moment after sand backed away from the thing. And you, as you approach without the spyglass, once again felt like you saw some sort of like distant movement. Uh, I mean, really far away. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Sand's kind of still standing in front of you holding the spyglass. This could be bad. Why? Can I look through? <laughs> uh, you look through. Make a perception check. Eleven. Plus things, or I don't have. I'm not oh yeah, right. he's got the plus zero. Uh, you look through with eleven, uh, and still with enough backlight illumination, you see uh, what appears to be a very tall cloud. And you kind of pull your eyes away, and then slightly turn the thing and look again, and you see the shape of what surely must be some other flying castle. Um, if you had to guess, and you're not quite good at math as you look at sand here, uh, this thing's quite far away, uh-huh. but it does seem bigger than the very first time you stepped onto the lawn and spotted the thing. As in, closer. Sand, there's a castle coming towards us? Oh, man, it's big. Could it be Blagoskis? Or Zephyros? No, Zephyro's got a little teeny tower. Oh, yeah. okay. Then something is coming here. The only other one I can think of is... Something is coming! Because remember there was the dude that wanted to be... He wanted to take over? Or he wanted to... The red dragon guy? No! It was the, the, the guy... Remember when we went to the Oracle and there was the dead guy? Oh, yeah. 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 And it was his dad. Oh, his dad, yeah. He yeah. was like a good kid. He was gonna... He was, but the Oracle yes. told him he would rule and the dad oh, got no. pissed to kill him. Yeah. Oh, God. So I if, that if, if, yeah, if that's the case, that was actually one of the things I was going to bring up on one of the, like, the, the kind of cards I was holding. So say like, Was that... She has enemies, like all, she's trying oh, to make all these moves. And this she's got could work out them. great. So are you saying we're about to end up in the middle of a cloud giant battle? I Possibly. think we should head inside. Maybe they could be distracted by each other, and then we can go look for the conch while they're fighting. Or we can use it as a bargaining chip to get the conch now. Possibly. The that way you help? Yeah. I mean, it's in our probably best interest to help. It's tell about her. to have a big castle on castle fight. Coffee. Tell her. Tell her. Mocha Porter, Salt Spring Coffee. Oh, it's Mocha Porter. Huh. I'll try to sip one. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I kind of want to save the children. You want to save oh, the children? Oh, that's a good call. Oh. I don't want these kids to die in this stupid battle. I know, Maybe we should actually tell him to... How are we going to save all them? They're huge. We'll they, put them like on, they can put them on the boat. No! At least to get them down to the ground. No I mean, way. We could probably fit the giant, because they're probably only about the size of an orc. Well, like babies, yeah. They're yeah. not that big. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like we're... Well, I actually think that's a good idea. We I didn't think we had a lot so around. We, tell her. Have a nasty bag well, we, want, we don't need yeah. to keep them for long. We would just we'll get them down to the, the ground to somewhere. Yeah. We'll weigh the thing down. Tell her we'll get them, her kids and children to safety if she gives us the con. Yep. Okay. But we're going to do it regardless, but just don't tell her that. Cause. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. All right. Let us run. And also, All right, then we better go inside. How, how long do you think we have until this castle gets? Yeah, is it no far? Idea. It's far, but it's also a giant black castle, so maybe it's fast. Do you have a way of contacting me? Contacting you? If I'm a little further away? Yeah. Well, well we, we can just yell at each other from this Well, I'm at, I might stay here. Oh, oh, to keep an eye out. Uh, Don't never split the party. More than, more than 100 feet, it gets expensive, spell-wise. Yeah, that's... It's that coming. Be It'll be here soon. Sorry Something about the is coming. There's, there's like, really, really close cantrip. And anywhere, even on other planes, the level spell is There isn't any meat wow. There really should be like a level one. Worried that uh, you know, the, they'll grow up without well, a spell. We need a speaking spell. 
sending We can have them come with us to the next time right? we go to uh, join your go to a town or something like that. If we're alive, we'll we'll yes. Them. Oh my God! Can you imagine giant monks? Okay. We're gonna take them to the monastery. <laughs> That's where. How far away is that? Ah, we have an airship. It's not that far. <laughs> All right, we're heading <laughs> inside. How many kids are there? Two. Two. Yeah, it sounded like it, right? Oh, I thought it was more. Okay. Said it was I want to destroy this fountain, though. This this image of this chain yeah, dragon bothers me. We don't have so time I, for all that. Um, let's go. I like your plan. How can we convince her not to kill us right away? I think we will first. <laughs> first She's probably got first. bigger problems to worry about right now. Yeah. Yeah, Who so should we talk to? Run inside and talk to whoever's looking after these kids. That sure. guy? Okay, let's talk to that guy. He's a little drunk. He's yeah. probably open to suggestions. Let us run inside. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's go talk to him. Alright. Am I still angry? No, you got it out. Oh, Alright, you got it out. Alright, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah. Uh, we don't have time for that either. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got time for your shit. You're here. Yeah, just standing there just punching the statues. <laughs> you already you caused the whole stupid. thing. Statues. Well, this is so much cooler now. I mean, I'm sorry. Most of these people suck. You know, <laughs> uh, they went to the nursery. Oh, I don't know this though. Do I hear anything? Where is the guy? Who, yeah, who's the best at talking to people? Unfortunately, <laughs> this guy. Unfortunately, well, he was. Fortunately, he was really drunk, so he might have actually gone into his room. I don't know. You that was his room or the one down at the other Are end? We in the lounge. Do we hear anything? Where this guy is? Not a lot of times passed. Um, last you saw, it sounded like they were Did coming up really here. Fast? And you, there was talk of them going to the going nursery. nursery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Which is to the right? Screen left side there. Screen left. We should, right. hit, we should have hit the arrow Can right. I knock on the door? Or pound on the door? Well, we don't want to tell the kids. We need to talk to Sansa. Oh, I want to talk to this giant dude. Take us to the queen. Oh, my God. You're about to get attacked. Well, if we just start going downstairs, we'll probably find her. Right? If we bore around. around. Or we can yeah, take but the if kids with us. Yeah, take us, he can just That's carry right. us and it'll be much faster. <laughs> That's true. I think it's in everyone's best interest that we work together now. I want to knock on the door. They play bagpipes. Or when punch they the door, whatever it is. I'm going to grab his arm. <laughs> I can <laughs> Don't go through do the sun and dance once more. <laughs> the guy might be You're knocking? Mm -hmm. You're trying to stop him? Is he mm, no, I'll place? let him knock. Okay. Uh, as fun as I think it would be to <laughs> knock on the door. Hello? 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 Does he speak giant? I do. So. I'm sure he speaks. Do you? Does, does uh, Titus have the giant amulet? Nope. Uh, you're speaking in common then? Yeah, I don't speak giant. <laughs> I mean, hello? I, I, hello? I, I, hello? Uh, you're knocking on the door shouting hello. Uh, and about a moment passes and you hear some like heavy steps oh, approaching. Oh, And defo. See this big, big guy opens the door. This is just a generic, it's just a generic cloud giant guy. Uh, he watches your kids. Yeah, he's got things. Wow. Looks out and then looks down. Are you all kind of grouped up here? Sure. Yeah. Looks out at you and says, who? I'll salute. What are you doing up here? Hail, Near giant the children. Sir. <laughs> I'll say hail, giant sir. I'm sorry to disturb you. But He's like totally blocking as <laughs> much visibility and passageway into the door. Uh -huh. We've lost the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hail, giant sir. My friends and I, uh, uh, there's a giant castle about to attack us. We've seen outside and we would like to save the children. Titus probably doesn't notice this, he's just talking, but this guy is talking in common to Titus, not in the tongue of giants. Uh, he's looking at you with like a big head tilt. Giant castle. We should, we should really like coach Titus on what to say. It's coming. This. It's coming here and I feel like it's probably not friendly. 
Is that what all the squawking was? Yeah. You believe so? That's Who is this person called again, Sam? This guy? No, the castle was coming. We don't know. But um, it's probably... I, the, only, the only other one I know of was Blagoskis. We think it's Blagoskis. Does that name mean anything to you? Last we heard he was in Parnas. I have no idea where Parnas is. All of you make an insight check. Oh, God. This guy's secretly a spy. <laughs> I rolled a nine. So did I. But mine's plus six. I rolled a fifteen. Twelve. Nine total. Oof. Was uh, you plus one? Several of you in the fifteen plus range. Um, <laughs> Notice that like he tries to stifle it, but there's a notable look of kind of surprise and concern growing on his face. See? And you mentioned that. That bothers you. And he kind of like looks out towards the. I mean, he can't see, but he looks towards the north, like where the garden is, and looks back at you and says, "Does my sister know of this?" I I know. Yeah. Else? Yeah. We need to tell her, okay, we and we tell need her. to tell her that we want to save the children from yeah, this. Yeah, we'll save the children. We have, an we have an airship. We can take the kids away. We just need one. We can assist in the thing. defense of the castle if need be. She's already let you free. And he's kind of looking at you, almost yeah. like he's like piecing together who you all are now. Uh, let is a strong word. We got lost. <laughs> yeah, we got a little lost, and we're just very concerned. We need to act on this now. But yeah, the castle is coming now. The castle's we coming need right now. To move. We yes. heard a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely happening. Time is of the essence, giant sir. <laughs> My name is Titus, by the way. Titus. You have to worry about us so much. I am it's called Tholen. Tholen? Tholen. Do you have Thullen. any good travel books in the library? <laughs> Not the time. <laughs> he thinks kind of Tholen. Tholen? Tholen? He thinks kind of Tholen. Oh, that helps. <laughs> he, looks, he looks down at you with like a very serious glare. Theory? Hmm? Theory? Theory. Both theory. <laughs> And you can see he, like, while talking, like, takes this very large key out of his pocket. Um, and you almost move out of, like, reactive instinct. Like, he's pushing out into the hallway. Looks away from you, begins speaking, and, like, locks the door behind him. He okay. says, I'll stand watch here yeah. over the children. Okay. Let my sister know what you told me. Good. And if I found you've been lying and sneaking around the children's chambers, I'll snap each and every one of your appendages collectively and dip them into the fire of Jaka. Fire of Jaka? I'm guessing that might be the fireplace that's right out there. Yeah. There you go. Uh, got the uh, could you tell us the way? Oh, yeah, what's where, the fastest way to get to the moment? Little Head down to the first level. Take the spiral stairs. Okay. Okay. And yeah, we know where that is. Away we go. Peace out, buddy. Thank you. And he's like Later. just standing in front of the kids' room yeah. door, the nursery door. Okay, I'm Call guessing it. this kid thing is not Just like nice. watching you. No five. Occasionally, he occasionally like looks to his left out towards the garden, but is more intent on watching you all. Okie dokes. Thanks, Thullen. Hopefully Away we he go. doesn't notice that you killed the guard out there. I didn't. No, do shut up. Are you saying okay, this out loud? It's probably already melted. We're going. <laughs> and it's raining, so yep. that's true. Actually. We're leaving. We're, We're leaving. leaving. We're moving. That's true. It's a, it's a perfect crime. Yeah, both of both. Yeah, of it's all water based. Yeah. 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 I don't know how cool cloud giants go, so you know, yeah. I don't want to make any judgments yet. Okay. Um, you're all Maybe they reproduce the doing day. that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. We do Down that. Stairs. We do that. <laughs> <laughs> we rush this time. You head back to the south. Uh, you go back through the gallery. You go back to the spiral stairs. Uh, how see. much wine does he drink? I don't know. So, I mean, he's responsible. You can yeah. smell it on his breath, but he seemed to be about his wits. Okay. Well, it takes a lot to get a giant um, And so you go back down the spiral stairs to the next level. Okay. And then what? I guess the, to the door, can, the only door, door that we didn't go through. Continue down the stairs. 
You said level one, right? Yeah, so we go all the way to the bottom. The only way we didn't go. But now that we're at the stairs, we can go up and just get on our thing and get out of here. I know, but we don't have the conch. That was the whole thing. Yeah, we. And this other guy's an opportunity here. We have an opportunity to get out, too. I mean, we, we also can still get out. We know the way out. But we I, still, I still kind of want to save these kids. Yeah, the children. Think of the children. Okay, well. The children so are our future. Definitely <laughs> not my priority. <laughs> That's not something I the children. My crew turned on me. <laughs> then oh, we went yeah. to another place. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> the backstory. Oh, oh. Remembering. Oh. Well, yeah, but in that case, you were sent to kill the children. Yeah. What do we Where see at the bottom of the stairs? That's not your children. We want to kill them. Uh, well, I don't want to kill so, them. I know, yeah. We so we're all on board on, on the kind of, killing your children. It's kind of like one of my ideals, like, save the small people. Mm -hmm. I'm small. Save me. You're a part of this. You can come, too. Mm -hmm. uh, so you head back down one level. That's sad, sorry. And it doesn't, it doesn't go down any further than that, right? Uh, let me triple check. <laughs> It doesn't look like it because it doesn't. It, it does the little three corner. Yeah. Thing instead of the huh? Clink, clink. So we would yeah, probably need to go. Yeah. The north door. Uh, yes, it does not go through. down any further. <laughs> All right, north door. Hey, here we are. Jump up and grab the latch. Are we bothering with Silas? No. no. Time is of the essence. We are running. Hello, giants. Do we need to be able to run faster? Or Come not yet? Come to play. We got like long straighter? I do. Nice. Boom. Blink. That's just a fun spell to say. Long straighter. Uh, you open up the door to the north. Good lord. Find a hallway. Door to the east. More hallway to the west. Castle door to the north. north. And I this suppose you're all going to step out there at some point anyway. So, we'll Wait, this, so this was the way we came to the right. Oh, no, 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 no that's because they, because, yeah, we, we've never actually been to the... We never went to this hallway. Not this oh, way. so many doors. Yeah. Oh, no, we had to because we went downstairs from this, because we came up to here through the trap door, so we've been downstairs. We did? Because they took us to the room downstairs. Oh. So we walked past all this Clink. before. What did that guy we, say? We just fast forwarded through I it. See. Yeah. Take the door. So we would we would know roughly the way to go then, right? Roughly. Because um, we had to have gone through this in order to get to the room downstairs from here, where we came up from the trap door. Because we got into this level through a trap door from below. So we've been one level. We've been already taken from our airship to down. Yeah. Okay. We just forgot. So right. we go that way again. <laughs> anyway. Which door are we going through? You, uh, give me one sec. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Main gate. I'm about to go and break all the all doors. I figure birds are squawking by now. They all mm. saw I think these doors right? are mm. bringing on you, Titus. So everyone there should be aware. Just try every door. Everyone should be aware oh, of what's Titus, going sorry. on. Sorry, Titus will attack them. Those are thick doors. Smite all these doors. Um, I mean, you definitely hear some activity uh, beyond the door to the east of you. Uh, and as far as going down below to the chambers, let me just pull up. Oh, because we're all only at level two, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thunderstorm in mean, like five years. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you recall having to go back somewhere to the west um, and then down another set of stairs to a lower level. Um, Are those stairs directly here? Yeah. Okay. And you, you see, like, oh, this yeah. stairway to the west. Okay. Uh, that goes out to a well-guarded courtyard, which you also recall is where you landed the very, very first time you arrived here and Flint arm wrestled with a giant. No, 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 no. Who did? Gunt. Gunt. Gunt did. My apologies. Flint encouraged it. Hmm. Gunt? Also, it's to the east. Should we just check that out? Yeah, might as well, I guess. Well, no, so, yeah, so yeah, so last I mean, time when they took us down the airship, was that both of the stairs we took last time? Cool. Less talking, more doing. Uh, these stairs go out into uh, I mean, the we'll courtyard, and then from there are doorways that go down to a lower level. So that was that was how we got to the guest room? Yeah. Okay. Do we want to just go that way again? Are we sure that that's where we need to go? I mean, unless unless we want to search all these doors. I mean, I'm guessing this is like servants' quarters. This is probably like a kitchen. Yeah. So sure. I think that might be our only way, unless there's like a 
back butler and We hear things from the east. Or we could go back to our trapdoor. Well, then you we do hear you do hear a noise uh, to the east, yeah. Let's check out the ah! east. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at oh. that. That's probably outside. Oh, well, we don't yeah. want to fight a bunch of guards. Yeah, we we had enough of that. All right, I guess we go to the west. Let's go to the west. Head west. Okay. Wagons west. That, that guy's the directions east. were awful. I will go west. <laughs> sure, he'd been drinking. Go down the stairs to the first level. <laughs> and then what did he say? Uh, hey, now we can just say Thullan sent us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he sent us. He was but rather Thullan. He said it was cool. Okay. And I met Thor. And it's Than Thor. Old please. Thullan sent us to talk to Than Suri. Thullan sent us to Than Suri. Big. The young one. <laughs> Not the young thing. The children. The young <laughs> wait until I tell them. All by myself. Ah. They already went into their room. Instead of break our artist digits. <laughs> uh, you all approach. You can tell me specifically how should you care. Um, but basically, you head down the stairs. To the west. Acting like we're supposed to. Ah. Out into the quickly puddling, oh. uh, but there's a lot of drainage. Um, <laughs> it's still puddling. Uh, courtyard uh, on the western wing uh, where numerous, oh, yeah, doors over here. numerous guards are. Um, so you see along the rampart um, a couple of cloud giants moving to and fro. Both telescopes are kind of pointed north northwest. Uh, and you can see them like shouting and billowing up and there's through the storm noises like the beating of wings and the distant squawk of... Let's not go out yet. Um, I thought of something. This is the wrong way. Yes. I don't want to go out yet. If I, if I check in with Wave, can you tell me where the conk is? Do you have any like oh, sense shelf. of that? Um, Wasn't he like, can you tell me about the other one? <laughs> hey, wait. Any vibes about where that conk is? I forgot, we haven't talked in a while. I've just been so busy, you know, all these things have come up. And, um. Man, I talk to my story every night. What you thinking about? Okay, yeah. well, did, where'd it get you? Know? So. Um, you. You kind of think think this in, in what feels like a sort of natural conversation. Yeah. Uh, well, you like are you like holding the trident in front of you, yeah, or are you just yeah, he's holding up in front of me? <laughs> just talking to the thing. <laughs> just like, hey, <laughs> what is going hey, on over hey. there? Uh, <laughs> I have to ask you. Roll a roll a d twenty. Oh, you know that adventure spirit I had. I wanted to do it myself. But, uh, I rolled a two. <laughs> Should have talked to him more. Uh, <laughs> dripping with water, um, you find Ooh. Wave in one of his less talkative moments. Yes. Which oh. is it. just so frustrating because he's very, very talkative and annoying and very flamboyant whenever he feels like it. But now that you finally have a question, uh. clams up. Silence. Yeah. Alright, this is obviously the wrong way. To the other end of the hallway. To our... Oh, wait, because. Well, how did we get down down to the? Uh, uh, make an intelligence check. Miss memory. Uh, so twenty total. <laughs> uh, you recall being led to uh, a passageway to the south, uh, that then went down to uh, another ramp that went to a lower level. So, like from here? Yes. Okay. So I'll point that direction. All right. There are. Does that make sense? Still end? A couple guards up here, <laughs> uh, and Air Coker flying around in the nearby vicinity. So wait, so like there. back in and the, one of the, the that door there, yeah. or yeah, you or went down to the south door before. Oh, so out out into the courtyard and then into a door. Yeah. Okay. To get so to that's room? to get to the throne room. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's this, go. This is horribly designed. If it's raining. Oh, actually, no, I'm just bad at maps today. Uh, it was actually this door. That makes a lot more sense. Oh. All right, here we go. Now oh, there we go. Hey, oh, we're just going. Dungeon mastering is hard sometimes. So. <laughs> this door seemed really familiar. I jump up and seemed real familiar. I blame your rolls. Some of some of <laughs> Wizards of the Coast maps are not 
the best drawn. Mm. I kicked the door. Oh! oh! Yeah, give that a try. I'm not going to open it yet. I want to well, see how this goes. I will not be able to kick that a door That is a door thick open. door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just, in frustration, I kicked this door as we open You kicked the door? As we open it. Oh, make an athletics check. <laughs> yes, please. You kicked it before, right? 17. Oh. Yes. Is the natural? That's my natural. Oh, plus Ooh. 8. Ooh. That's a good kick. Plus 9 now, actually. Plus 9. Plus yeah. 9. So that's a solid 26. Uh, you go up to the door and kick it, and the door is in fact sturdy. It hurts. It's almost like bees in the bat if you ever played baseball and got that like wobble inside like the core of your bones. Awesome. And you feel it like ripple up to your kneecap. Uh, but there's a slight splintering sound that accompanies it, and the brass hardware just breaks through uh, some of the wood on the other side and the very thick door slowly creaks open broken no longer closable take that door that's my uh, runner here we go <laughs> right. yeah unnecessary but all right <laughs> that is business. business there's no time there's no time for there's no time for handles this is time for action uh, weaken their defenses <laughs> so in the interest of time and with uh, sand's guiding memory now coming back better than ever uh, <laughs> you all recall that you were led through this hallway out onto a planked ballista covered uh, watch tower area and it was there that you then were wrapped around to a winding descending staircase that took you to another lower Ooh, level this place is amazing so I'm guessing the throne will probably then be from the north, then. We'll be back towards the middle. We can try it. Correct, Amundo? Yeah. Let Artie open it this time. Yeah, it's a really want to kick it I will hop Let up. Artie yeah. unlatch it, and you can kick it open. I will open it up. Let's be chill. Maximum chill. <coughs> uh, okay, Artie, you go up to the door. Time for chill has passed. Slide of hands me. <laughs> no, okay. north, north. Oh, north. Sorry. Or oh, whichever way is the throne. <laughs> Twelve <laughs> plus four. Oh, so we are giving, giving guidance again. Uh, where am I? Where's this map? Sixteen. I'll put I'll put sand where I need. Yeah, go for it. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, so you. That's one. Oh. I see. Doesn't look like it's gonna help. Isn't this gonna uh, take us to the room we started in? The room we started. You. Well, he, said, he said this way was. The throne. That was where we went to go to the. South and then around was the stairway that you went for, to go to the lower level. Oh, so that was okay. So we. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right. Yeah. So that, if that's we still have to get to the stairs. So yeah, sure. So that's right. Okay. <laughs> After uh, a lot of meandering back and forth and indecisiveness in the hallway, uh, you finally, as Artie's about to open the door to the north, uh, call him down and head back to the door to the south. That's being so sneaky. Uh, are you opening this door? Yes. I'll take your sleight of hands from before. That's fine. 16. That was fine. Uh, you quietly open this door. Water is kind of beating down on the deck because it is kind of like being on a ship almost up here. Uh, you know, while it is quite sturdy, there are some moments of sway and I wouldn't say ultra shaky, but it's like a very, like, oh, did you feel that? It was almost like an earthquake kind of vibe. Um, and standing on the deck, kind of maining the ballista, um, but seemingly more alone than you'd expect, given what you saw at the gardens above. Uh, to this direction of the castle, you just see one cloud giant um, kind of moping around the southernmost ballista, uh, every now and then kind of peering out and very focused on the sky beyond. All right, where were the stairs? Oh, there, okay. Stairs are over there to the west. So do we want to just quietly go over there? Where does it go? He's going to be focusing elsewhere. Sure, see how it goes. Sure. If he says anything, let's just act like we know where we're going, we're so supposed yeah. to be. the yes. campus. All right, give me a bunch of uh, stealth checks. Just a DC 10 to beat. Mostly you need to beat it. 13. 16. Yep. Plus three. Natural one. Oh, <laughs> 16. Five, but Eight. I had nine. Eight. 16. 16. So that's three above with you. You slip and fall 
and, and like, you know, I guess you're on your broom floating. Yeah. I imagine, uh, you, you, yeah, you bump up or like get stuck on something. One of the crates, you know, it's probably a little more dense than it's depicted here and knock one of them over. But the rain and the storm itself is, is so loud that the giant doesn't appear to turn and notice. Sounds like one Your of party members cool. notice, and if Santa ever gives you a hard time about yeah. stealth well, check again, you, you might it. hold that yeah. against him. Sounds like one of those people that's always on a Segway. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, so you all kind of like turn expecting the giant to notice you, but he doesn't. And uh, onwards. Onwards to the stairs. And the giant, stairs go giant, down, 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 <laughs> down, back to a lower level. One set. Uh, it's tedium. Where's like the arrows? Those signs saying this way to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, what if there was something like an emergency here and the kids needed to get down here quickly? This is a fire hazard. This is <laughs> <laughs> or whatever happens up here. A uh, giant castle attacking hazard. There could be a fire. They actually have like elevators and stuff installed. Yeah, probably. And, like, we just don't They're know cloud giants. So yeah. can, they can just turn immaterial and float, and I just yeah, have the stairs. Just, uh, oh. Didn't have fire codes. All right. We never would have found this place. Sneaky. <laughs> we found some interesting stuff, though. We should. Have. I found a book. I think we should have chopped <laughs> up that book into little pieces, but the thing is more like yellow. Loading. Please wait. <laughs> Do 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 that's why you would lose. <laughs> okay. The first first game was very painful to go back and play. Really? Yeah, the gameplay was not very polished. Really? <laughs> they improved it a lot in the second one. Yeah, Mass Effect 2 is super fun. Oh, that fucking Warthog. Or whatever that vehicle was. Oh, on the first one? Yeah. Well, the first one, you'd get that attacked by, like, any force like, attacks and just ragdoll. <laughs> We're outside again. Uh, so the stairs led out. It's weird. Underneath the cover of like the balcony and the walkway above, it's almost like you come down the stairs out here. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> wait, are those the stairs we were at before? Yeah. Wait, maybe, oh, maybe not. Maybe no. that's the throne room right there. Those stairs look like they go up to a higher level, which is where we were. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Let's that's keep going down. <laughs> Let's just say we are in the throne room. Are we there yet? Well, those can are we, like... Can we fast travel to the throne room? <laughs> yeah. Well... That, that doesn't look like the same stairs we were on before. That's, that's three entrances. You notice that there is another stairwell over there. Mm -hmm. Also going up, and then these also go up. Uh, and then you clock a door over here. Oh, gosh. I don't know. All those other ones go up? Yep. All right, let's go. Sand, you were the, you have some sort of memory. So, yeah. in the courtyard here. So the door was the way we went last time? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you spot seven cloud giants. Woo! Okay. Um, three are on the ballista. Uh, two are kind of lingering near the door here, and another one is lingering near the door to the north. Okay, why, don't we just, that's just talk why don't we just tell them we need to see the Countess? Yes, exactly. Uh, Dolan sent us. Uh, yeah. God. We need to see the Countess. We would like to see one of them. Chrisaro. Oh, Chrisaro? Uh, no. Okay. You would, you would recognize him. You're our face. Yes, can we run to the nearest cloud giant and uh, it would be the ask for directions? Guys up here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Morin, please guide his mouth. <laughs> Are you all moving with him? Or letting yeah, him run right. ahead? Stay a bit behind. <laughs> It'd be funny if we wait, and it's just like, splat! <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a blessing of Morin, so when you, whenever you do your 
if you do have to do a diplomacy check. What is that? D4. 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 Okay. Uh, I just give those out like candy. So. You can, I mean, you've already been able to tell from the last 10 minutes, but like, you know, there's still distant squawking. Everyone is very, very tense and on high alert. You go charging across the courtyard towards the pair of cloud giants standing no, guard here. As if we're supposed to be there. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Weapons are shooting. And like, immediately, like, they kind of like, stood up and say, say, oh! Hail, good sir. We were sent by Thullman oh. to see the Countess, because we would like to help you with this oh, oncoming no emergency. Okay. Does it uh, kind of seem like we were kidnapping the children? <laughs> and getting drunk? I know. We're asking. And leaving? No. Why would you trust us so much? No, no mighty yeah. warriors. I don't know if she has much of a choice right now. Um, well, she could just didn't take the airship from us. You notice that the one you're like kind of addressing has like this very squinted, almost like smaller right eye, oh. and he's looking. He sort of turns his head to look out of his left eye at you, um, all the while like clutching this massive morning star. Uh, Damn. Yeah. It's probably on us. You rot. Supposed to be in your waiting room. That's true. And like every every now and then, <laughs> like true. you can see, you can feel the other guy kind of like posturing behind him. Every now and then, he like does like a quick kind of tick look up to the uh, ramparts up there, and then back down at you, just glaring out of that we're left eye. I say that's well. true, but these are semantics. We are under attack, and we must speak to the countess. As I told we you, really we were sent by Thal. We, now. as a whole. All of us! And we are lost and must find our way to the throne. <laughs> and just like this oh, giant no. spit wad goes right past you. Yeah, like, knowing, like, you know, there's this knowing look like I could have spit on you Ew. in this rain if I wanted to. Um, make a. Let's see. Uh, I'm just getting tired of this. <laughs> um, now we're gonna believe us. It's really no diplomacy, right? You can make a. Uh, can we say we're helping because we're kind of behind a persuasion? Yeah, make a persuasion check. Can we say we're assisting? Uh, uh, one of you can try to assist and get above a 10 on persuasion. If you want. Who's, who's that uh, charisma? Uh, I, do. I have 8, maybe more. I rolled uh, 14, anyway. Our persuasion plus. is not great, C4. No, it's not. It's negative one. Yeah. I have one. I have negative one. I have a plus one, too. I have no charisma whatsoever. I have less than that. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled four. Kind of, I'm kind of helping guide, so. Right, plus you, you just, six yeah, is plus what I have. 13 plus, plus one. Seven. Plus oh. two. Wait, so uh, that's 13 plus 21? Right. Or giving him a seven, plus two yeah. bonus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, that's pretty so good. So you plus got two plus two nine, points. that's 23. Plus a D4. You can see Plus like a him. Plus D4. Plus three. <laughs> you probably don't need it. Jesus Christ. You see him kind of like sizing you all up. And it's almost as if like something just tipped the scales in his mind as he sort of He's like so does sure. one Dwarf, does one last like quick glance up towards the sky as like an air croaker squawk in the distance like dies off. And he kind of gets this like serious look at you all and says, oh, I don't have time for you. That's right. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go and look. She'll squash you like bugs if she so chooses anyway. And he kind of like gestures to the, the guard in front of the door. I mean, we did kill the fire giant king. Sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned that. Uh. Yeah, we helped you. These guys are enemies. So. Uh, you, you know, like he's almost like paying you no mind now. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, if she asks, we're going to tell her you let us through. Yes. Shut what up. is your oh, name? Just run. Just move. Just move. Just just move. Just move. Get your no, name no, and ID no, no. He glares at you and says, Ruos is my name. I float up and grab Ruos. Titus by right, the ear. Run. Start <laughs> Everybody run right away. And we're moving. Ruos. We're moving. He's a busy man. Okay. Uh, the guard to the north of you 
politely or maybe just in a hurry to get rid of you, opens the door as you all come dashing past in Ruos gestures oh, thank you. Thank you, to this guy. Um, you find yourselves back in this corridor. I'm not going to move your tokens till we roll really stuff to... Hanging over our mantle blades. Can it has move tokens? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You enter you here. Next I mean, it's giant size. What can I do? No. which way? way? All fair. the way down into the... To the Probably left. that middle one, right? No, it's all the way to the Okay. I want to check with Wave again, see if he gets any vibes on uh, conch direction. Uh, I think it's this way. Okay. You, you kind of whisper and sing at the same time. Uh, you can... You can make a uh, another wisdom check. Thank you. I'm getting guidance. <laughs> yeah. All right. A D20 and a D4. Ah, oh, I went from 20 to two. <laughs> do we? Can we do that with our essential weapons? It's worth a shot. I mean, I will. I will ask Black Razor. <laughs> Everybody try. I mean, mine hates giants, so it probably. I'm gonna ask my fist. Everybody ask <laughs> everything. You see everyone talking to their <laughs> weapons. Find this song. <laughs> Hey, uh, get the hell out of here. Do you know? <laughs> we could just get it and not talk to Tele- Telepathically, though, I might not like, say right. it out loud. Yeah, yeah. No, it's mine's gonna get angrier at me every time I don't hit a giant, so I'm just kind of trying to block him right now. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, mm. you're feeling real itchy having just walked through that courtyard. Mm. Real itchy. All right, whatever. <laughs> all right, I get nothing. Okay, so uh, Seven, you guys so bad talking to your you're all rushing towards that middle corridor. Sure yeah. thing. Yes, all right. So. Neat. <laughs> I sense nothing water related. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kind of weapon. Um, so as you go rounding the corner, I'll, I'll give you just the corner because I'm feeling oh, gracious. Yeah, yeah that helps. Uh, Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Woo! Ha ha! Yeah. Loading, loading. Please wait. That's how Black Razor just talks from the Bane Razor. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I like it. That's about right. It's perfect. Uh, Every, you need a voice for your hammer now, too, John. Every weapon must have a voice. He probably talks a lot like this. There oh, there you go. That's better. He'd like to kill these fucking giants. I like it. It's hammer team. Listen to worm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to do it in the last <laughs> time. That thing's got some good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Deal with that. Right Sorry, I just wasn't expecting this quite yet. You know how these things go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chickity China. <laughs> Chinese chicken. Why would your son say that? Canadian. <laughs> These are my new favorite dice. Yeah. Oh, there's a natural one. Wait, it can't be a natural one. That's a seven, because the one is a fuck. Yeah. There's a what? It says fuck. The one is a fuck. <laughs> one is the fuck. Oh, it says fuck. Yeah. <laughs> one so is the fuck. Fuck yeah. Uh, so you all go turning the corner um, and immediately find yourself Yay. back in the court Finally. of the countess. <gasps> At least we made it. it only took yeah. us two sessions to get <laughs> wander <laughs> around this goddamn castle of doors. Uh, you see the familiar opulent hall decorated with lapis lazuli, tile work, murals, etc., etc., with the cloud door in the center of the floor. The familiar four jockas with their back towards you as they face towards the throne itself. Seated in the throne is none other than Countess Sansori. Uh, Kasaro, to the south of her, (laughs) looks very concerned, crossed-armed, and glaring. 
and everyone's attention is on the red-robed humanoid standing in front of Sansuri. Red-robed humanoid? Red-robed humanoid? Uh-oh, is Uncle there? Who's that guy? Titus' dad? No. Is he playing the saxophone? <laughs> He's smooth. That's outside, I guess. Yeah. Uh, one moment. They have like a jester. Oh, oh I know. Things changed. <laughs> You're sending Titus in there? Is that what I'm saying? Oh, sure. He'll be oh fine. my god, give him a little, so much guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that looks like it's on me. Uh, I, can't, I can't see it for some reason. Voices, um, and you notice that Sensor is kind of holding like a very upset mask at this point. Like, oh, yeah. And your upset. several encounters with her up until now has always had a different mask every time. Um, and as you all come running in, like there, there's sort of like a break in the noise. She pulls the mask away and glares past the Jaka at you all. Who let you out? Are you in league with him? Who's Ooh, him? No. Yeah, who? Felon's The sense. person who's attacking you? Like, we can help. Looking over his shoulder, you notice the, the bald man in the red robes, and he just kind of smiles and turns back. Do we, re do we recognize him? Um, there's a familiarity about him, um, but he doesn't seem to be as tall as Yarno. Okay. Was what are the douchebag from the tower? Almost playing with zombies. I don't know. If we it's were been right. a long time. Yeah, yeah. Necromancer? Yeah. yeah. Romancing the neck. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're here to shit. help. You're clearly under attack. Now is the time to band together. Put like, aside our differences. She's kind of like mask out to the side, leaning that forward looks. in her chair, looking at you all. And just leans back and crosses her legs. We're more concerned about the oncoming storm castle. We were just talking to Thelen, their children. We would like to save the children. We would also like to save this castle. And you see like her eyebrow kind of like twitches a little bit at the mention of the children. She's gonna kill you. He's been stalking around my castle. Yeah. Yeah, my kill children. You. These are semantics. We're under attack. <laughs> she's she's, she's going to kill you. Time. We're totally lost. It's a very big castle. It's we're very confusing. To get here. We were trying to find the throne room. We got very lost. She's looking around now. She looks pointedly at Crisaro, and there's this booming, shrieking noise that is deafening to all of you, and I'm not going to do it because my throat can't handle it. It's just kind of like a, who let them out? And she like, throws the mask, and it goes skipping towards the guy in the red robes and he just sort of graciously steps aside and puts a foot on it just as it's about to go sliding down like the hole in the floor. Um. Tap. So wait, who's this red guy? Who are you red guy? <laughs> <laughs> he still hasn't really, you haven't really seen more than just like a sliver of yeah. his smirk. Uh, you're helping, really just looking at the back helping. of his bald head right now. Baldy. <laughs> Have you ever mentioned the cop before? No one's talking to the cop. No one replies to the cop. She's shouting this, uh, and like Crisaro's kind of looking at you all, looking at the Jaka, looking past you, uh, almost expecting to see guards, uh, and doesn't. He goes, "My lady, I will see whoever was on watch is deeply punished." And he like turns back towards you all, glaring. He says, why are you here? You mentioned the children, you mentioned a castle. There's a castle coming. How did you escape? Through the door? Not important. Shh. We might have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're just good at that kind of thing. Um, but there is a castle coming. 
We are under attack. Good. We would like to help, so no, we don't we. all have to suffer. They are under attack. It's yeah, this castle is about to become a war zone. He what? holds, he holds like a, a hand up, you know, like kind of motion for oh, silence. You <laughs> Yeah. Alright. Um, he walks over to uh, the southmost Jaka uh, and taps him and points towards the hole. And the Jaka just like bows graciously and in one quick movement leaps out the hole to the south uh, and disappears. Whoa. He says, One of the Jaka will verify your story. Okay, I'm surprised no one's heard right. yeah. well, it. They're squawking like crazy. They, they should be. What squawking jacket? Like do we have to lie to you? Okay. Time is of the essence. That's like their main... We need to form a defense now. Go Let's... and sit among the bleachers. And he kind of points. There's like this oh. multi-road. Uh, there's no time. God, I'm yeah, so just sick yeah. of being told what to do by these guys. Titus is going to take out Lightbringer oh, and just crash into the ground. Enough oh. waiting! Time, now is the time for action. We have been treated like peasants by you fools. After all we've done, we demand an audience now, and we demand action be done. Lest we all die in a rain of cannon fire from a floating castle. Let's get killed, all. He's pretty fired up. Yeah, I'd listen to him. All I can just say, like, light is just shining. <laughs> <laughs> Sensory uh, reaches. That's minor illusion to make just flames behind them. Like <laughs> golden radiant flames. Sensory <laughs> reaches on uh, the side, kind of like you know near a fireplace. You have like all like the various pokers and things. She's got like what appears to be just this large trough of different masks, and pulls one out. And it's got like furrowed brows, but with like a smirk on it. And she kind of like tilts her head the other way, and looks at you while rising to like her full height up on like the pedestal of where oh, her throne man, is. Titus is gonna die. <laughs> Twenty eight feet. She says twice now I've heard Castle. None of my Jaka have returned to report on what all this ruckus was. You we will conclude our business later and she sort of like gestures oh, and the red robe guy just kind of kicks the mask that he was holding pinned beneath his boot towards her while bowing and walks Who's around. We have to kill that guy, I think. I just don't think he's about to... We don't recognize him at all now that he's turned to kind of face us. He goes walking past you. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. Um, I'm definitely clocking and making a mental note of this face. So still tilted the other way talking as she sort of dismisses this guy. She says, it's the second time I've heard Castle. Hmm. What did you see? Exactly that. A giant flying castle. This Bigger than yours. And like she cuts herself off like as you say that. And you can see like the mask almost like shake and tremble in her hand. And you, you, you notice you've been there yourself. Like she said, she's clutching the shit out of the, the handle of this mask. And... Definitely enraged, and you can see Cristaro as well. Kind of like his posture, like gets a little bit bigger, a little more puffed up. And she just sort of starts rumbling, and it's at this point that the red robe guy is just casually walking past you, yeah, and kind of and as you're clocking him, um, you all hear like a low whisper uh, and all of you hear it it's low enough that no one else beyond Titus in this room would have heard it and you just hear the last absence of his regards oh. and he just keeps walking sorry what are you saying? I don't, I don't so fireball him! I don't I'm remember who really that tempted to uh, you, you hear him say Glassstaff sends his regards. Oh, Glassstaff. Uh, Who's that? Glassstaff. He was like, he was that guy that, uh... I turn that, and yell. Fuck like, you, was man. Was that mayor? He was that evil wizard. Yeah. 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 Who's the one who took out your uncle, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we grab him? Uh, Sensori begins really to... Kill him right now. Probably not a good idea right here. Sensori steps down 
from her throne, still holding the mask. I don't think that's a good idea. Is that our main focus, though? No. I think we're kind of in a worse situation than we realize. Yeah, out of the respect for the court. (laughs) No, I think we're in a fine position. She's in a shitty position. Okay. We were she's got killing that over. red robe. If she's robe. not gonna do something for us like okay. now, we should go. Like we can't uh, just hang out here and wait for yeah. this war. I mean that's true. We did kill that fire giant before. We came back. I mean, yeah. And then you lock us up. And I mean, at this point, forget it. Yeah. You know, saying this out loud, discussing with the others, so she can hear. Her plan to go and restore the ordinary herself is completely fucked. There's no way she can do that. But we can. If she wants this fight to stop, she wants her kids to be safe, she needs to give the conch to us, we go take care of it. She can defend her own castle. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Hey, That's tell her basically all that. her last choice. But if she needs any help killing that red wizard guy, we'll, <laughs> we'll do that too. That's just a bonus that we offer. Yeah. She kind of speaks up, letting her voice carry as it's designed to in this chamber. You won't be going anywhere. Now, pray tell, where is the Duke's conch? I don't know. Uh, we, back holding. we hold one. No! Are you saying nothing. this out loud or are you saying yes? She's yes. asking ask a question. We don't face. know. Yeah, anything. if you want that, that's not going to happen. The other yeah, one is currently in a mountain. You have to reply though. Yeah. Yeah. It's in a mountain. There's two on this castle right now. There's yours, there's one of ours, the other one, there's about a thousand of the best trained dwarfs in Northern Faerun between it and you. That's not going to happen. You're not going to get it. You're out of options. Your enemies are closing you on you. Let's speed this along. Just give us the fucking comp so we can go. Sam, straight to business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am tired of this conceited bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And we waited for like how long? Rain 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 clouds. You had us poop in a freaking bucket. To go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is a barrel. long day. You killed my familiar. I am fed up. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, actually. She, uh, she needs us more than we need her. It, this, you know, we can just walk out of here and go we talk to the cross. I don't think we can just walk out of here. Well, if we can, she can either fight us on the way out or fight the giant castle coming to kill her. Yeah. Someone, someone could definitely choose to assist, oh. um, but I'd like you, San, to make a persuasion check. I would like to assist as well. Mm-hmm. One, one person can assist. Are you guiding yourself? Should be. <laughs> Did you like to say that? No. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. 14 total. I have rolled 5, so. so I have no help seven. from Titus. No. <laughs> plus 7. 5 plus 7? My persuasion. So it's 12? Which brings you to a 16. You catch her in a very reluctant pause as you kind of make I your I should also mention echo. that the, this castle's presence in the month of all the smoke, small folk has not gone unnoticed, and there are many offers for your head coming from there as well. So you're just racking up all kinds of enemies. You need this conflict she, brought to a close. She <laughs> lowers her mask, almost like kind of like quickly cutting you off. And she says, choose. Choose right now and choose wisely. Sensory or Black Thacus. The who? Oh, we already swore to kill him anyway. Yeah, we're, we're planning on killing him, so... Yeah, that sounds good. You guys remember yeah, yeah, we made a promise to his son, so... Sansuri! Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sansuri is the council. And we're gonna kill the other dude. I don't want to say Sansuri, of... I just want to say we're gonna kill him. Oh! <laughs> At some point, point Sansuri. That helps our situation. She yeah. kind of nods slightly. She says, Your ship's been heavily anchored. Go. Aid in our defenses. And perhaps I'll change my pre-existing plans for you. Uh, <laughs> no, fuck that. I cast Dimension Door and I go up to where the kids are. Oh, what that. are you doing? <laughs> do I'm burning some spells. I'm sick of this shit. Dimension yeah. Door. He's, he's, he's Dimension Door to where? He's initiating Order 66. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 
<laughs> He's killing the younglings. I can uh, teleport up to 500 feet. Put them somewhere feet. else, right? Okay. You can find some motivation. It's vocal only. It's instantaneous. This is not working. Doesn't she have a counter spell? <laughs> also, we're also all in this room still with her, like, I don't know what the dwarf's doing. <laughs> Sand yeah, disappears. She, she... Unstable uh, is a word I want to use. <laughs> you yeah. reappear really cute. in the nursery. You really have no idea. Uh, there are two kids, not in bed, looking, like, kind of crowding each other near the window, watching, waiting for the show. Okay. The door is still closed to the east where I you recall. I Okay. I got to start. So many spells. Uh, yeah. Five, eight, five. And I say, uh... Unanchor the ships, give us the conch, and 10,000 gold, oh. let us go, <laughs> 10, or I turn this nursery into a crematorium. Nice. <laughs> oh my it. fucking, he doesn't speak for us. <laughs> Do we hear you that? You don't hear any of this. This no, happens in our head. We're all so we confused. We're still just <laughs> like, I don't know what, what happened. Holy fuck, I feel like we crossed the line on this. No, uh, that's uh, awful. We did. If I have any words left, you have five seconds to decide. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's alignment is definitely shifting Ooh. from uh, lawful good to lawful like, neutral to tired. lawful evil. What do you want? We, we don't know this. Anyway, we don't like, know. That's true. That's true. We don't know. They just disappear. You know. all. Out of context. Back, angry hammer. back in the audience chamber. Like, I think I would probably yell at her. What did you do to Sand? Yeah, what did you do? <laughs> We're Sand. We're Sand. She was just here. You see her, like, kind of, like, blink in disbelief for a moment. Like, she can see where San was. You see her almost, like, go inward for a moment before looking back at you all. And she just reaches back into the throne, takes a handful of masks, and just Get throws down. them with, like, excessive force. Get down. Two of the Jaka are pierced from behind by them <laughs> like javelins. <laughs> Uh, and that just decompose into piles of slush. That was helpful. Uh, and she just, you just hear this, like, scream, screech out, echoing throughout the chamber. At this point, the red robe guy is long gone. Um, I think I would draw my weapons at this point. Yeah, we got to bring the Uh, and about three seconds later from receiving your message... Four and a three gone. You hear a, a reply. Uh, it's about 25 words. Yeah. Uh, more or less, she says, I'll do what you ask, but you will never be safe. Uh, and, like, the, you know, basically cuts it off there. Who... Who are you talking to? <laughs> you, you don't hear that. Oh, I don't hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of like a telepathic gotcha. kind of thing. That's Sam Harris. We're still like, I don't know. Uh, this is really weird. Yes. She what, looks over at you all in the audience chamber, notice, and this is so fucking weird to you all, <laughs> I imagine. She looks past the slush piles, past you all with just this fucking fury, and to Kersaro, says... Go have them untether the ship. What? Uh, what? what? And, really? And Cristaro, like, goes and whispers to one of the Jaka, who just flies above you all squawking. And he looks oh, to you I'm all and oh. says, uh... That's very nice. Go then. Return to the high lawn. <coughs> and he gestures upward. Yeah, my <coughs> um... Sensory takes a moment and says, No, you wait here. I must go release the conch. Yes. What? That'd be and so She st starts striding towards you all. Thank you very, very much. Strides past you. I imagine, in my mind, in this version of the story, you all are still standing there like, what the fuck I is going on? Going on. Yeah. And she pauses at the T-intersection just west of you and turns and says, Quickly then. Your wizards made it so I don't have much time. What, what, uh, what did what the wizard, wizard do? Just, let's wizard do? just, oh. I'm cool with it. I don't even care. <laughs> like, so, this is fine. She's wanna, still turned, she still turned to you, paused, 
Like as you when RD speaks, I'm just like, what the wizard do? <laughs> Hi guys. Don't question. I'm leasing your ship. And you'll have my conch and your lives for now. Nice. But know that you will never be safe. What did we do? What are you talking and about? When you die a terrible, painful death, look to that little dwarf and thank him. What the me. fuck? <laughs> what are you talking and she says to her sorrow yeah. as well, go round up some of the treasury. Wow. What the fuck did Sam do? <laughs> she was gonna try to hurt us anyway. I mean, you know, it's the price of doing business. I don't know. We'll get the story later. I guess we'll find out. Yes, it's all gonna work like, out. This is, a, this is cool. She I moves to, to the move. northwest, beckons for you to follow again, and is basically taking you back off, up past the gallery. Get up. Totally good. Sure. Past the gallery where we walked through. I wonder how the construction uh, yeah, of that tower is going. Yeah, it goes up another higher level. Okay. Uh, I, don't know, I don't like how this is going now. I'm but, very um, confused right now. I feel pretty but good. But yeah, about it. this so. is, uh, I guess, good, except now we got like a mortal enemy who's going to try and kill us. <laughs> we would have had one anyway. <laughs> she didn't want to give us beer. anything. Ooh, She's a dipshit. Well, thank you. Ballsy move, John. But you're just like, shit, right? We technically <laughs> don't know what that move is. Oh, that's not my ass. But I'll take some. Oh, you want some? Well, but out of here. It's totally just the muddle. I'm Good ready boy. to be out. Not really. She's stupid. She's pissed off at this. All the things. Uh, and so. Me a little... <laughs> Goodbye. Hand wavy, hand wavy a little bit. Yeah, so we've been stalking around so long we'll, enough. We'll, we'll say that, that's how you're supposed to be. Um, Thank you and well, I can't do that. So basically, um, she finds some guards along the way, um, has them escort you back up to your ship, which you realize has been. Heavily secured with like uh, kind anchors. of anchors, essentially made out of like the ice stuff that supports this entire fucking castle, um, and they have them release all of the the locks on your ship. Um, eventually, uh, another guard comes up with a small-ish chest filled with um, various Water. gems and some coins, and says. This is worth close to 10,000 gold. Sweet. Um, oh. The Countess um, says, I will need a small bit of time. And, and, like, you notice that, like, as she's talking to you all near the deck up here, that she's occasionally, like, looking at the horizon with concern. Uh, I'll need a small bit of time to secure and release the conch. Right, we're gonna have to wrap um, this up, though. She disappears for about five minutes before returning. You're taking too long. Uh, <laughs> <Five> kids. <laughs> you don't know that yet. <laughs> well, I just know we gotta go. I do know that. And eventually returns Sand, with both the conch to... and a single tiered mask that she wears adorned to her face. Oh. Um, um the bricks. I imagine at this point, Sam, you've... Are you still with the kids? Are you kind of waiting? What's your yeah, I'm kind of waiting to hear, like, a knock on the door or something. <laughs> you eventually hear a knock on the door. Oh, you know, and the good. very sobered, probably more from the situation than actual blood alcohol content, is uh, the large nanny Thullin that you saw before. Uh, and you, you, the knock, followed by him opening the door... Glaring inside. Oh, God. This is, it is done. One second. Hey, Titus, did it work? I suppose. Oh, we have a conch, we have gold, and we have our ship. Good. Be right there. Okay. Dimension door to the ship. You, like, the last thing you see is, like, this guy just mouthing back some uncontrollable rage. Uh, it's enough to... It's a look you'll remember. Yeah. Hey, Flint, you got a second? Sure. <laughs> Come here. Dimension order to the library? Alright. <laughs> here, help me grab this. You got some balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dimension door back to the ship. <laughs> okay. Inside okay. the ship. Yes. Alright. We should yeah. start to take off immediately. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's get going on this. <laughs> oh, God. We're out of here. Kay. I don't care where we're going. Away from the <laughs> castle. You uh, haul back her spell book <laughs> onto the ship. 
Uh, Favre. The dimension door back inside, like like inside, like to my room or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. we're not appearing with her standing right there, like with her spell. <laughs> like you, you notice that like it's kind of a 50-50 split between the cloud giants and the Jaka, the Aarakocra, uh, littered about both the sky and the ramparts, are kind of glaring at the slightly larger now castle formation off in the distance and your ship which is slowly beginning to take off fly the as the direction. fire elemental engages um, and as you all get airborne and begin to fly which direction the opposite direction the, of the big away castle? From yes castle. away which would South. be Whatever. this I mean, thing's coming from the north northwest yeah. Yeah. we're going to eventually hook around somewhere else safe first but for now so it's southeast south. okay um, I'm gonna walk up to the sand and ask her what she did. <laughs> how how did you pull that off? Yeah, I, I, uh, how this happened? I twisted her arm a little bit. How? <laughs> what did you what, do? That was a complete 180. What Pretty did you do? Yeah, let's just let's just say looking around the castle was fruitful. Inside check. <laughs> I, I actually took my potion of mind reading a moment ago. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> what Sand did. Yeah. So I know what Sand did. Exactly what she did, yeah. Oh yeah, she's, she's quite proud of herself. Though. Wow. You would also know she had absolutely no intention. Like, it was a very callable bluff. If she called that's a bluff, a, I was fucked. That's <laughs> I was never very no. questionable. <laughs> but she was going to kill us. I mean, it's never going to yeah. work out. Necessarily. It didn't sound like she was going to kill us. I didn't, I didn't she tortured the dragon. I just talked and cast a couple of spells. Uh, and when we got our shit like that, she okay. tortured so the dragon. We helped her, and immediately we got there, and she locked us up. And oh, I have no doubt stuff. that she's an awful person. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's not, that was never a doubt in my mind. All right, well, think of how many people are going to save now that we have, you know, expediated this. I, I, the I, I justified the means. My turtle looks at Santa in a very different light. From now on. <laughs> hey, you took that potion, right? What, what'd you do? I, and I explained to Titus. Oh. Exactly yeah. what, uh, well, I probably, probably Titus too, yeah. if it wasn't that way. Uh, Look, no, who got hurt? <laughs> There's some scarred children in that room. <laughs> they didn't oh, well, know what was going on. Scarred. They just saw him. Anyway, that's true. Well, they hold their hand at him. The way. You, uh, when I was up there, I made like little teddy bears dance around for him. To Favric and friends are uh, guiding the ship to the south, as, as you've suggested. Um, where are most of these conversations happening? Oh, I, I suppose below we'll deck with this oh, big with this book. book. Probably true. Okay. Um, I burned the book. I'm out of a book. No mind reading. It was good while it lasted. Do you have like a rumble. ring of mind reading? No. It's one of us does. Who's got that ring? I think Cecil might have it. Oh, I have the ring on my ring. Or a necklace. What? The tech thoughts. Tech thoughts. Um, where is everybody? So, at, at least when I drop the, I would have dropped the book off in the upper left Oh, yeah, room. I do. The medallion of thoughts. Shit, hold on. And then probably, we probably didn't have the conversation there. Probably after dropping that off, what, and I probably went back above deck. That's probably where we had the conversation. I forgot I had that. That makes sense. We have the giant. Uh, the giant balloons above us, anyways. We probably don't uh, get too much of the storm. Okay. Does anybody fine. not on? I mean, yeah, uh, there's sure. probably a decent amount of cover from the balloon. You can see the red there, like covers. Yeah. So like, it, it does stay dry. Yeah. I mean, there's you know some of the sideways rain and the wind blowing will will definitely give you that mist feeling. Um, but. Uh, the port is very good. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm probably breathing really heavy. That, that was like the most magic I've ever burned through in the shortest amount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it definitely took something out of you, I would <laughs> say. Yeah, all over the place. You would not have killed the kids, though? Of course not. Okay. That's good. Well, that's good, then. All I know, guys, is... You, uh, in, in the back of your mind, you just hear, Yeah, of course not. Dun, dun, dun. You guys are worried about lying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Everyone can go read a book. Maybe next time. Hey, my yeah. book! In retrospect, um, I'm wondering, like, maybe that might have been risky, because oh, I don't know... Shit. Did I put this on the wrong way? If, if she had called it, if, the, uh, if she had called the bluff, if the hammer would have let me... Well, <laughs> so you're, you're taking a risk, that's for sure. 
Which I wasn't sure, which is why I loaded up my D4. Just hold <laughs> the max. Oh, Jesus. Hold the max. I'm down. Got it going. We would have been there forever. I don't want to be in the middle of that war. Yeah, who knows? Uh, she might even, might even, you know, survive this. I would hope Maybe she, she'll die. She should be able to work it out. I mean, this is very strange. Yeah. It's not Based on her, um, oh yeah, what was in this spell book I just got? <laughs> yeah, we'll have time to disseminate that. that later. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, I can't get the move around. Anyway, I mean, um, there's, there's this there's level seven there. spell that I can't. You, uh. You know that they send some of the Jaka after you, but honestly, it's pretty trivial at this point. You're able to dispatch them. 11 HP somewhere like that. Yeah. They send the Jaka to attack them? It's more like making a point than anything. You know, they feel like they're just these disposable ice clones. Um, but you fly off, and sure enough, you know, at this point, you all would have had a chance to glance this larger floating cloud castle encroaching upon the airspace Hi. of Lynn Armal. I almost want to stay just inside, like, like at least watch the spyglass and see what the fuck's going on. See Is that anything happening yet? See if there's some fireworks going on? I mean, it'd probably be about an hour or two before it's in range. Yeah, he right. wanted the conch, right? Probably. Well, Lagoskis? I don't think so. He just wanted, to, I think he was a king, isn't he? But, but she had a comp too, so obviously there was some kind of power struggle going on there. I don't know. We never found out about Lagoska's other. Those are interesting guesses. We mm. don't know. They may, they may, they may be, there may be more than one. The only thing you know for certain is that the Oracle led him, if it is him, to believe that his son would be the one to rise up in power and usurp him, essentially, which is why he killed him in the Oracle's chambers. Brutal. Remember got me this really sweet I also remember you all made a promise to him that you would avenge yeah. him and kill his father. Yeah. Yeah. Also right, right. Yeah. At some point. So yeah, yeah. maybe that'll smooth things over. <laughs> Something does me now. <laughs> well, maybe we can go take a quick nap. Yeah, give me a nap. Get all rested up. Come back up, see what the aftermath is. I think she'll just kill him. Yeah. At this point. I think <laughs> or at that know. point, they will have killed a lot of each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> Make a intelligence check. No bonuses. Just, just your normal intelligence bonus. Kind of like a memory check. Six. Six was the raw roll? No, or six the, is the total. I rolled a two. I was I am hell? exhausted. Yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah, you're it's really you're hard to figure reaching out. into the depths of your foggy mind trying to place that red-robed figure who Long passed day, you all. A lot of uh, hallways, uh, a lot of doors. You have several guesses, That's one of them being Harmon Kost from around Phandalin, but you can't be quite certain. Uh, they all look alike to you, those red-robed yeah. bald yeah, you remember, bastards. I wasn't there. Dan Harmon Kost? Dan Harmon Kost? Yeah. Dan Harmon Kost, nice. <laughs> well, you, uh, you float away on your airship, away from what is sure to be some interesting giant on giant action. Yeah. Uh, and we'll uh, pick to to up somewhere around there next time. On. Next time. Exciting. Uh, between now and next time on, you can make some conversation to give me a rough idea of what your next moves are. <laughs> My next move is a long nap. <laughs> yeah. While Sand is sleeping, uh, I burn the book. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you get for throwing those kids. She tosses you off the side. Well, she didn't do anything. Oh, no, yeah. Kids are. So many different ish. ways that could have. Actually, I'm vulnerable. Out. So, so many. Oh, my God. Did Guys, not expect any of that. No. <laughs> no, how did that must be very difficult to plan for? Like, we could have just been Man, in the middle of the big, a very big castle. <laughs> castle on castle siege. You know, I wish there was a better way to do sneaking around quickly, mm -hmm. but. I uh, wanted to leave uh, your options quite open in this one. What? Sand, b sure. big bad endgame. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You got another 2,000 gold out of it. Yeah, but at what cost, Sand? At what cost? And a comp. Yeah. I mean, at what cost? It didn't cost us anything. Should we go get the third comp? And we have? Oh, yeah. we got to go to uh, oh, Metro Hall to get the third comp. Yeah. Yeah. Some people adhere to the law of equivalent exchange. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. So at some point she can threaten someone fake falsely at me. Sure he did. Yeah, that's true. And she's in league with those goddamn red wizards who have my uncle, so... We don't know if she's in league with them. She seemed kind of uh, put out about them. Mm. I think she's always in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> Might just be part of it. Maybe she just lost her happy face mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. She doesn't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's water stained. 